so yeah. Uh, back to Pokemon. Back to Pokemon. I remember what we were doing this time. You were about to take on a Dragon Fuck Gym. Yeah, because I've got some badges. Either Gym 7 or Gym 8. I don't remember which. God, there's no easy way to deal with uh, with dragons in Pokemon. There's, uh, there's oh. dragon and there's ice. I don't know if you've got either. Hey, we're streaming. I... <laughs> this is con. Hey, we're streaming. eBay notification. You got an eBay notification? No, that's that's what the, the thing is. What that was also my old. Yeah, that was my old ringtone. But then ah. I uh, switched. But then I switched to uh, to Swerve Strickland's theme after that show that uh, that nearly killed me for a second time. All right, it's spring. All but right, what is my, it uh, really? Yeah, I got a fighting type. No, it's summer. I got a water type. Summer. Fuck no, it's not. Fire. Flying. Psychic. And dark. I don't have any good. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to. Uh, to just hard hard battle them. Just gonna power through. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw elbows. You have a. Are there any like ice TMs? There's some Pokemon centers have uh, like TM stores. What, is, what, is the, what do they have here? What Hello! Got? Oh wow! <laughs> that was perfect! You see? Nope. Mail? <laughs> I don't want mail. That was. I don't know if you see that, but we were perfectly in fucking sync. Yeah, I saw. That was cool. No, you don't have TMs either. Alright. I, I'm, I, I'm want to look it up because I'm sure that. There's like one or two Pokemars that have good TM selections, and we probably just like didn't even look. Look, it's fine. I can I can just fight him normally. Uh, Blizzard, Icarus City, Pokemart. Where is that? I have no ice moves, but you know what? That's f wait, no, I do have one. I have Frost Breath. Okay. Always results oh. in a critical hit, so it's effectively... 60 power? I don't remember if this is before or after they made crits uh, 1.5 times. None of my Pokemon are unable to use it. All oh, right. well. Moot point. Yes, I'll have... I'm gonna have to just do this the hard way. I am ready. Town map, here we go. This, this sounds and feels like a fucking... Uh... Okay, so if you fly to the previous town, if you want to, they have, like, strong TMs in the Pokemon, like Blizzard. Do I- I don't have a Pokemon with fly! Oh, you don't? Why don't I have a Pokemon with fly? Can Crackers oh, well. fly? No, he's a fucking dinosaur! He's... Oh, right, he's fucking flightless. Let's see. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, oh, ee, ee. Sorry if you hear us for a sec. It's been a while. I want to check audio levels real quick. Oh, wait. I have a Dragon-type move. I've got Dragon Breath. I'm good. Oh, wait. I have a Dragon-type move. I've got Dragon Breath. I'm good. Oh, Thank you, me from the future. Thank you, me from, from the past. Future. Game seems a little quiet. Yeah. Without no way, Pokemon, with... I'll be lonely and sad. I love your Pokemon Dusty this, do, our, do our cities look different? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the future, you're in the past. Huh. I knew there was like a city that was different between versions. I didn't know this one was. Mine's yeah, all like it's... green and yours is yours is robotic. Cyberpunk it's it's fucking it's like Sonic C D. It's bad future. <laughs> I I want a, I want a prequel. I want uh I want Cyberpunk eighteen sixty six. Cyber... That's just steampunk! It's effectively... Steampunk is cyberpunk, except in the past. Yeah. Then you got... What, well, there's also... The 40s, that's diesel punk. Where everything is, like, running on, like, engines and shit. Uh, so I just... I just beat the gym. I guess I'm... I'm moving on. 
Would this be considered like monster punk? I I guess. Like there's monsters in the world, but it's not like uh it's Dystopian. not thematic with like the architecture and everything for the most part. Like nobody's just riding on the back of like giant monsters. I don't know. Yo. Like in steampunk, it's not just a couple things. People aren't just like walking around with steam powered cell phones or what the fuck ever. It's like everywhere you look is like gears and pipes and steam. <gasps> I, I got it. The Flintstones is Dino Punk. Yeah. Okay, that works. That yeah. counts. I will accept that. Stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. Just imagining like like each different variation of like punk has like a different variation of Central Forty or not Central Forty. Fucking uh, Section Nine. You got a bunch of like Dino like riders in the. Uh, in the, the Flintstones universe that are Section 9. Koto Kusanagi is like, is just part dinosaur. I like how the end of Steam Boy implied that this kid with a jetpack became a fucking superhero. This is great. Which oh, sounds fuck. like what the movie, what a movie with the name Steam Boy would be about, but it's really not quite that it's dramatic. An origin, it's an origin story. I guess I it is. How the, Remember how the fucking Death Castle turned into a theme park and the guy was trying to sell it as like as like a feature? Yeah. Underrated movie. Yeah. The Unfortunate. Second blockbuster by the Akira director, but everyone just kind of remembers Akira. Here, Akira's more edgy. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I need to look up a walkthrough. What am I doing? What am I fighting for? Dragon Gym this is where tough trainers show you they can carve their own path. Yeah, well, I'm gonna fucking fight you without a type advantage. How's that? How's that slice it? Icarus Gym, Dragon Spiral Tower. Didn't we go? We we went there already. Go back. All right, I'm gonna rock slide you. Let's see. Well, this is, uh, this may have been a mistake. No, that was the previous city was Icarus. This is Opelucid. Well, Bugsy's not gonna be very good at, like, just taking out, uh... No, you take him. Just hit, hit him hard. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, this is the eighth gym. Yeah. We, 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 I think that's been established, yes. Well, I couldn't remember if it was the seventh or eighth. What other punk... What about Night Punk? The first I've be? heard. Like, like... Now, when I say Night Punk, what do you think I'm talking about? Because I realize how ambiguous that syntax is. Uh... I, does everything look like the fucking... The Pony Princess? Princess Luna? Nightmare Moon? Is that Night Punk? I, I was talking more about, like, the concept of, like, his chivalrous knights. Oh, okay. Just... Night well, that, Punk. That's called fantasy. <laughs> no, because... Because there's like knights, and there's thieves, and there's mages. Yeah. I guess they. No, I just. Everybody's wearing armor and shit. They're like riding horses with lances, and it's like, if you break the chivalrous code, you're fucked. And then there's like black knights. But yeah, night. Night punk, just. The moon is always high, there is no sun. We have to use fireflies to light our way. Okay, I, I I need a new strategy. Okay, two master balls. That's nice. Okay. Uh. There's ocean punk. Yeah. Like, Is that like water world? world? <laughs> yeah, I like how you I like how you went to that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just just like boats and everything. That was the so, one. Uh, 
So One Ooh. Piece counts as an optimistic water punk series. Yeah. Well, in, 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 uh, in, in One Piece, there are islands as, like, par for the course. Yeah. Like, this is... But... In Waterworld, there are there is no fucking land. The whole point of Waterworld was that there might possibly be some land somewhere, and oh, wouldn't it be nice if we could find like dry land and not have to live on the fucking ocean all the time? Like the Waterworld allow universe, for some variation though. Otherwise, you don't have a genre; you have a single movie. The water. <laughs> Guess what? Waterworld was a single movie. I know. The world the world of Waterworld was so shitty, dirt was currency. I know, I know. I'm just saying, <laughs> if your definition of roguelikes is just the game rogue, then it kind of defeats the purpose of having a I genre. <laughs> yeah, like, the what, point uh, of a genre is to group things together. I'm going to yeah, call so... One Piece a, a water punk. You know what? I'm coining that. Okay. One Piece... Waterworld, and fuck it, Subnautica. Wind Waker. Shit, you're right! <sighs> Water Punk. Well, Subnautica's a little bit different. It's like, uh... I, okay, you're right. That is like a, a world that's mostly water. Raft. <laughs> the Raft. Shit. I want to play that ever since you mentioned that as a joke about how, uh... About how how the fucking uh, Kingdom Hearts adventuring party would go if they just all went out with their supplies. It's just, it's just the fucking Raft. Have you never seen the game Raft? I want to play it. I I just I never got the opportunity. Yeah. I I, I have to save up to buy the Tomb Raider uh, like uh, trilogy remastered. I think it goes on sale somewhat frequently. I gotta check it out then. Raft is it is is that like just a bunch of kids out on the ocean with like rafts? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I think I kind of liked the game more before it was finished, because when it was first, like when the earliest form came out, it was like. You ever see Minecraft Sky Island or any of those mods? Uh, yes, I've heard of them. Yeah. It's uh, you're literally just on a raft. That's it. Just water everywhere. You can uh, like stuff will float towards you. You can collect. You can uh, like yeah. put out nets to collect things and uh, build up your raft. But that's the whole game. You're just on a fucking raft in a world of water, and that's that's it. And then they added like a world and like towns. They and added like animals. story islands. You got like uh, stop at places, activate radio towers, and things. It was oh. fine, but it's fundamentally not really the same game loop as you know. You just build up your raft. The raft. You can have like a like a five story condo mansion raft. Oh, dude, that'd be. Imagine a guy just dying in a dinghy, and he looks up and he sees this five story condo raft. And he's like, "Help me! Please help me! You look like you could. You, I could. Are you renting out apartment space? Oh, he's ten levels above me. I'm fucked. Yeah, you seem you know a little bit under leveled for this gym. I got like a cup. Yeah, okay. super effective. You got pluck. Fine, I'll. This will be fine. I will. I will win. Literally, Crackers oh. probably learns the move pluck. He berries. I I'm just crook. I'm kind of disappointed my mushrooms weren't randomized. I expected them to be something else. Yeah, well. I'd they're... pluck a mushroom and get a Rayquaza. Ha, ah, you thought you could take me on. Well, look at you now. Crunch. Oh, dark is not very effective against dragon. Shit. Uh, it is, but that's, that's uh, dragon dark. Oh. Well, it's fine. I got him. Uh, you know what? I'll just kill him, and then I'll just run to the Poke Center every trainer, trainer battle. And eventually, Crackers will gain so much EXP that his Dragon-type moves will actually be effective. Oh, speaking of uh, roguelikes, you know what I learned recently? I, I didn't- I learned that Dwarf Fortress is a sequel. Oh yeah, Slaves of Amok God of Blood 2. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, nobody's played the original. Don't- don't feel bad. Nobody yeah, well, it's else a fundamentally it. different game. Yeah, it's a- it's a- I think it's, it's a It's like a traditional RPG or hack, something? Hack and Slash, I think. I like how the guy was like- he, the guy, Tar- uh, Tard Adams, I think his name is. He's like, make he made 
He made a third game as well. That was that I I, I was surprised. So he made two games and he decided to de de dedicate his life full time to making Dwarf Fortress. And when I say dedicate his life. I mean, he's been working on Dwarf Fortress for, like, decades. Hey, guys, I think I made I was... the fish a little too badass. <laughs> I made the carp too hardcore. Yeah. So I just it's went a... slightly north of town. I encountered the champion, and they've got uh, they've got the legendary Pokemon. There it is. I win. I de you beat him. Cool. I, I defeated Champion Karate Girl. All right. Do I have do I have any fucking rare candy? I'm just gonna feed it to uh to my uh to my to crackers. My my uh bird. I like I love that fucking bird. When does crackers evolve? There's a lot of like really disproportionately high level evolutions in Gen 5. Uh 37. 37. Okay. Do I have Oh, these are all uh, hold items, huh? Oh. Medicine. Where are my rare candy? I have no rare candy. There's there's way too much shit in one pocket in this game. <laughs> Why, we had a balls pocket. Why did we get rid of it? There what? There is still a balls pocket. No, there's not. The pokeballs are mixed in with the the regular items now. Oh, that sucks. All right, expedition three. Dragon, dragon, walk the dragon. What's uh? What would dragon punk be? I think that's Riders of Pern. Actually, I've never read it though, so I can't be sure. Well, I, I was thinking two options. It would be like some shit like Aragon, or uh, or like Shaolin Showdown. Uh, Shaolin Showdown is dragon. No, that's Monk Punk. No, that's real world because because the, the real world exists in the in the. Yeah. Uh, if there's anything new... Shaolin Showdown is, it's realistic. <laughs> it takes place in the real world. Like like punk stories are like not like explicitly in the real world. They're in another. They're in basically like like a world that's just been warped by the presence of something. Like if it's gonna be dragon punk, then dragons have to be a fundamental part, like a, not just a like a, like a part, but like a central part of the world. Like Yu Hakusho, I, or not, and Inuyasha, I would say they're like demon punk. I guess. Well, they're they're ba they're based on like Japanese mythology, though. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My mistake. Yokai punk. Okay, Dragon Breath. Let's we'll see how much damage this does. Hello, Darian. No! Crackers died! Fuck! There goes my ace in the hole. Man, Lum is just useless against ghosts. You mean in your or just in general? No, my Lum. Yeah, you're you're I've got Lum. My, uh, that, you're, everybody, that's what everybody says about Lum. My that Wonder Guard says... electric dragon who can fly. <laughs> oh god. You know what crook might actually be my best uh, ticket against like these dragons. It's fully evolved. It's it hard. Yeah. I eat dragons. Uh, sec second opinion, Darian, what do you think of the levels? Is the game too quiet? Oh, another fracture. Cool. Look. Take that one out, too. What does foul play do again? I forget. It's, uh... Sorry. Yeah, the game is coming through. Uh, foul play is a dark type that uses the opponent's attack power, and uh, that and family has up. a really high attack power. Cool. So good to use. Actually, that's great for dragons. Oh yeah, you're sh taunt. Oh shit, I gotta just use crunch now. No, uh, yeah, foul play works. Still on attack well, move. Oh, sorry. Uh, torment is the one where you can't use the same move twice. Yeah. Okay.
Oh, did you ever hear about that dude who rage quit Pokemon Showdown? And, uh, which and... one? I'm sure there's okay. several. So, uh, so there's this guy. It was like the finals of this tournament in like match five. It was between two people, one of whom is named Lavos. Yeah. You never heard of this story. Awesome. I I'm I'm so happy. So he was like fighting, right? I don't remember the exact details of the match, but he just kept getting unlucky by like uh, flinches from waterfalls yeah. and just like and stuff like that. And uh, and <laughs> and it finally he had one flinch too many, like from an explosion. Like the guy had like a focus sash on like a dude who could use explosion, right? And the explosion would have been a one hit KO on, like, the Gyarados, which was a threat to his entire team. And then it, he flinched, and those are the third flinch in a row off a of waterfall, which I guess its flinch is, like, low. And then the guy was like, I fucking had you! Oh my god! Enjoy your trophy, dude! I quit! And then he proceeded to write, like, like a big, long, uh, thing. I gotta, I gotta read this. Give me a moment. Was it, like, <laughs> uh, was it, like, in the, in the Twitch chat or something, or? No, it was on like... the forum. Okay. It was on the Smogan forum. Uh... Hold on. Well... I'm gonna R look this. Ringa evolved. Nice. Shit defense, shit speed. Great attack stats. Uh... Come on. Here we go. <clears throat> Unfortunate doesn't begin to describe my series. This game rewards blind luck and nothing else. I am beyond convinced at this point. After getting completely tooled by scheduling with my opponent, changing times on me last minute, and refusing to provide confirmation prior to the day of the match as to play times, losing this way somehow felt even worse than I had thought possible. My preparation was superior. My play was superior. And I lost. So I don't see a reason to continue engaging in an activity where that where what is within my control is overwhelmingly outweighed by what is not. I am done with competitive Pokemon, and you won't get a fond farewell. This community is infected to its roots with a degenerative disease that grows stronger over time, but stops short of killing its host. Tournaments used to have a competitive spirit at heart. This has been transplanted and replaced with an artificial organ that feeds on vitriol and mockery from insecure little boys that heckle by the sidelines and tear each other to shreds over scraps of attention. The environment we fostered has trapped us all in this in a vicious cycle, and escaping it requires acceptance of the hardest of the harshest reality we all scramble to explain away that none of the countless straining efforts we put ourselves through here will ever amount to one single shining glimmer of significance. I would make this the end, but World Cup is still ongoing, and I would never leave so many great friends out to dry, so I will suffer through a few more mech games for them. One last thing before I leave you all to react with disdain, ridicule, and self-righteous fervor before you do everything in your power to minimize my words and thoughts, box them up, and shove them to some cobweb corner of your memory and hope they disappear forever as a stain on your finite time ground to dust. From this moment on, nothing you say matters to me. The foulest insults you hurl with intent to wound will calmly settle at the earth before my feet, and the venom you spit will bring all the pain of a warm summer breeze. You are less than anything you can conceive while I carry on, brimming with joy, distilled, from detachment. So it sounds like he changed his mind on leaving halfway through the letter. Well, <laughs> well I, I, I know I said that I'm mad, but like the World Cup's still going on. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's like, it sounds like he planned was to uh, like quit like after World Cup. He's like, okay, after I'm gonna suffer through with them the World Cup, and then I am done. And then he got banned anyway. I, I'm sorry, I presume for that like long rant. So he didn't even participate in the World Cup anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> because because apparently he was just toxic. Uh, anyway, this was like the final straw for everybody. I'm guessing rage quitting in the way he did. Like, 
you know, it sucks. Like, luck is a part of Pokemon. There's, like, that's just the, the long and the short of it. And not accepting it is like... It's just like, uh, it's like playing a game with game and being surprised when your perfect hand gets outdone. It's like, that's just the name of the game. Man, I'm gonna miss CM Pika. I hope he finds a successful career in Digimon. <laughs> That's mean! This guy didn't, didn't attack his boss. <laughs> that I know of. Yeah, this guy... Okay, Musashi's not gonna be good. Just... I mean, I don't disagree with him. The RNG and the, the amount of guessing is why I don't really care for competitive Pokémon. Yeah. And some people do, and that's that's all well and good for me, but I just love the idea of a guy just just like writing this all up and thinking he did so oh god well just one huh how much time do you think he spent on that? Oh it was probably a spur of the moment uh, stream of consciousness thing thing. I don't know, it sounded too eloquent. I I feel like he went through like revisions. Like, he's, he's probably spent a good hour typing that up and rereading it to make sure it was Maybe perfect. The perfect... The perfect rant, the perfect mic drop. Yeah. God. There's this guy who kept on getting, like, outfoxed by, uh... By, like... This was in random battles. This was, uh, like, one of those, uh, salt compilations. And he's, like, getting outfoxed by, like, strategy instead of just spamming legendaries at each other. And he's like, I hate people like you. You changed the game. It used to be about power. About real power. Something in the comments was like, oh, so he's just mad people don't unga bunga caveman bonk each other in the head anymore? Which, you know, I'm not I'm like that, so I get it. But, like, I, I that's also why I don't play competitive Pokemon. I don't. I mean, dude, like, play... Gen 1 was a little unga bunga. Oh, yeah. People miss Gen 1. They played Pokemon, they played Gen 1 of Pokemon, and he's like, hey, I can do this. All that, uh, all them Hyper Beam Tauroses. Hyper Beam Tauros. There's Just an argument for normal type being better than uh, Psychic type in Gen 1. Because it doesn't really have... Any, well, it has weaknesses. I, just, I would just think. because the the meta was so centralized on uh, like really, really strong normal Pokemon. I get it. Yeah. Wait, what? No, oh, no, I fucked up. Oh no, I vanquished. Is that Solid Snake? Yeah, well, I'm gonna use your power against you. It's, uh... What the fuck is this? A dude in a trench coat. It's Veteran. He's veteran a vet. Hugo. He's, he's a veteran of the Pokemon world. With his... Drugiton. Ivy is that Dragon. The, is that the evolution of the of uh, the one I got? Uh, no. That's a single-stage Pokemon. Oh, okay. I'll play. It's nice that they have, like, a good number of dragons in this gen. Rough skin. Uh-oh. Pretty scarce before now. So he's not that strong then. If like I hit him with foul play and it's just like, oh, nope, I'm not, I'm not affected. But you know what, Crunch? Drudagon might be more like defensive focused. Clearly. If you think that uh, your attack is higher, then you should use Crunch. Yeah. Well, he's dead. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to escape rope out of here. If I can leave, I might not be able to. You can still use moves like Dig while on a fainted Pokemon. I don't know if it'll work here, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, dig. Why are you trying to ruin my fucking floor, you d you fuck? The implications of being able to dig out of Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. Okay, you know what? Hammer arm. I'm gonna fight you. There we go. Bonk. Bunga Bunga Caveman. Alright. Time to go! 
Retreat! D you dig out with my dead crocodile. Nope. No, I can't. Can't dig Good. the dragon. Traitor, we got a problem! Let me out. I need to leave. I'm Where's trapped. the exit? Can't find the exit. Let me go! Have to fucking let me leave. I saw something I... recently on uh, oh, yeah. on Wikipedia. Apparently, a lot of people consider like Lum to be one of the first Sundere. She's not Sundere. She openly loves like the person she's attracted to. Yeah, I know. It's it was a very strange like, prospect to me, because she's so very different from what the term ended up meaning. Yeah, evolution. But, uh, I, I guess it's derived from, uh, it's derived from a mix of, like, uh, you know, loving and violent, which that makes sense oh. for Lum. Yeah, that's just, that's, that's just abuse, though. Like, it's also what, not gonna... what the term came to mean, and if anything, like, Ataru is more Tsundere between the two. By, you know, the final definition. Of, like, not being able to admit his feelings. Yeah. 50? No, I need more than that. Hyper Potion, here we go. You are healed, my child. Yeah, Ataru is, like, is, like, later, uh, Tsundere and, uh, and uh, Lum is like OG Sundere, I guess is what they're trying to say. Slash. I guess it's more oh. that she like inspired the creation of the archetype rather than that she herself was the archetype. Makes sense. Like, cause I think the, the, I'm trying to think. It's like, uh, I want to say like, like the, the, the first, like, really, really popular Sundari was Asuka from, uh, from, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh, Ranma came before Evangelion. Elite. I said popular, not tolerated. <laughs> Jack, it might suck, but it was popular. Was! Yeah. yeah who's talking about Ranma these days? Who, who, uh, like Ron the seriously, books. what? Not nothing. Ron the books. No, no nobody. No, who said that? No, no. I, I'm I'm curious now. I'm not trying. I'm not gonna Hal try to comics. like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. People. People still uh, digging. You know that people would be like like doing hentai for that for another reason though, right? Not because of the Sudari characters, but because of like the. The trans themes. That's a reason. I don't think it's the main reason. Yeah, yeah just just the uh, concept of a person able to change their gender at will it would be like uh, would be like. There's a third per. Fuck off. Uh, I I am. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I have to go all out. Just this once, Master, forgive me. Gotta send out Hot Kong. Oh, I got it! I, I just I just came up with this just now. You ready? Yeah. Hentai Punk. Okay. Was that like <laughs> mo Monster Girl Quest? No, no, that's just that's just Monster Punk. Uh, <laughs> no, Hentai Punk would just be like would just be a world that's just subsumed in porn. It's like. Oh man, I gotta remember. Hold on. Uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look this up because there's, there's a quote. There's that really common like hentai plot thread, where like Japan's birth birth rate is is so fucked that we have to we have to like put sex everywhere in society. Is that hentai punk? That is a common theme. Yeah, like like I, and it is true that Japan's birth rate is like really low and. 
Anyway, uh... I mean, I... that's America as well, but that's because, like, none of us have any money to raise kids. Yeah, we're, we're all broke. I think it may be the same in Japan, too, or... Probably uh... some common themes. Are, are yeah, you, like, see. looking something up? Yes, I, I am. I, I, I eagerly yeah, here we go. await your definition here we go. for hentai punk. Okay, no, 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 no. This is a quote from Cruelty Squad, and this is what I imagined a hentai punk is. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> here we go. The super AI emerges from an extreme, extremely pornographic, hyper-ultra-suck-and-fuck. The world becomes engulfed in a paroxysm of cum-fuck frenzy. Senior citizens dropping dead from brain-fried giga-orgasms. It's all because of the leftists, honestly. Whoa, where'd you come from? I didn't notice you at all. I'm sorry, what <laughs> I, is this from? Cruelty Squad! Cru that was a random NPC in the, the level Rent Do, where you have to kill your landlord and escape from the cops. Oh, that's the, that's the like, colorful shooter game, right? <laughs> Color yeah, colorful. For a second that's I was thinking of Suicide Squad, and I was so fucking confused. <laughs> Is that what the Joker says when he gets online? It's all the leftists' fault. Well, I love the idea. Hyper, hyper, hyper sucking fuck. Joker, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that's that's what the that's how the Joker would actually behave in, in like in like any real in like any realistic sense of the word. Ah, uh, what the, game was it? I, there was a game, like an RPG or something, with a, a character who talks in, like, leet speak and memes and everything, and he's just the most hateable character in anything. I think he's that, a villain. But uh, just Advanced fucking Wars imagine Dual Strike? that. What? Advanced Wars Dual Strike? Maybe? That, I don't know. He, was, was, he the dude, was he the dude with headphones? I don't think so. I think this and is a different like, character. But just okay, imagine then, that. I Imagine that, but the Joker. God, he'd be insufferable. Maybe Batman would would look at him and be like, "I don't, I know, I don't kill people, but shit, I feel like I gotta kill you." All right, uh, flare. I don't have any good options. Flare Blitz is your most powerful. It does cause recoil damage, and he's gonna damage me anyway. If I belly drum and attack, he's probably gonna kill me anyway. <sighs> Fire punch. He'll be hopefully can burn him. Careful, he's a gallant dragon. It's... Hurt. <laughs> should we just should, should we combine the two themes of like the quotes and I and I just quote the Vaporeon copy pasta? The should, what? Should I just go? What the, quotes? But the the because I quoted Lavos with him just like ta talking shit about competitive Pokemon, and then uh, yeah, and then Hong Kong's gonna die because of Requel. Uh, and then I and then I quoted the fucking like like uh, cruelty squad like hyper. Uh, are you theorizing stuff. that if you like mash them together, you get the Vaporeon copy pasta? Yes, we found. Yes. Is that the formula? <laughs> That's the formula. We're gonna break memes down into elements. We got to make the periodic table of memes. It's a periodic. No, it's the genealogy of memes. That's a book, like, isn't it? Uh, Should unknown. Be. I can't believe I survived that. I'm a psychic fighting a dragon. I, I'm, I, I have no right to have that go as well as it did. I don't. Why am I going through this stupid grass full of crocodiles? Be a good I need item to leave. Here. Where is the exit? Let me out of here. This is an ambitious gym, to say the least. Was it a gym for ambitious people, or it's in oh, oh, max revive? Here, let me uh, hold on. I got you, fam. What are you doing? I'm trying. I'm trying to get to your window so I can use your touch screen. And do what? Uh. What are you liter literally? What are you I'm doing? Sorting your items for you. I, did I ask you to? Nope. <laughs> I don't know how they were just sorted. They were sorted, though. What the fuck? Somebody's spraying, like, some kind of perfume outside, just coming into my room. Yeah.
Whatever. Hyper suck. And what are you, what are you that's... looking for? Escape rope. Am I, was I looking for that? Maybe I was trying I to assumed. revive my Pokemon. Oh. No, I don't want to fight fucking chonker centipedes. Revives would be with the healing items. I know, I'm trying to... Do I not have an escape rope because I had dig? Damn it. Power belt. <sighs> I'm gonna have to leave. Let me out! I'm, am I going through the dungeon just... I think I'm in. I think I'm. I think I'm close to the end. I think I'm gonna. I think I'll be going home now. I don't think you are. I, I think it's easy to think you're close to the end in this dungeon. Cool. Okay, I'm going in circles. That's good. Let's I'm trace my steps backward. Fuck. Oh, you thought you could leave, you you naive fool. Is this the, near the exit? No, it's not. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> My last guy had three dragons and fucked me. This gym, it, it's a trap. They keep you here. It's fucking Creed. <laughs> it's... He, okay, I got 21 revives. What, what the fuck? Why am I panicking? This is why I packed 21 revives. Revives. Alright. Now let's give everybody fucking, like, like, hyper potions. I got three PP ups. Oh, wait, I... Okay. Heal! It's time. The final push in our raid. Alright, we're all good. Let's do this. Final push. Watch, there's gonna be like three trainers after this one. Combat Punk. Well, combat is already very vague. Okay, uh... I... Fight Club Punk? Oh, no! I got it! Wrestling Punk! Alright, yeah, that could be a thing. Yeah, it just, just... Everything revolves around pro wrestling. Like, in school they teach pro wrestling to everybody, whether it be management, actual in-ring stuff, or anything related to pro wrestling. You know what like that is? What? Uh, like, like a subgenre of that is uh, Mucha Lucha. Because, like, everything Mucha. in that in that cartoon is themed around masked wrestling. Yeah, and they, and they got so good at it, they could literally transform into, like, into, like, other things. And then the flea didn't have a finishing move? I don't remember. Was Isn't the flea voiced, voiced by, like, a celebrity, like, Meatloaf or something? I don't know. Indeed, it is a way of life. Mucha Lucha. Okay, foul play. Well, that did sucked. Oh, it's cool. You can just. I, it's just gonna be a throwdown. Just throwing elbows and shit. Candy Milo. Okay, no, that's definitely not a celebrity. I wonder who I was thinking of. I'm sure of. they got they got like uh, Latino dudes to voice uh, 
Well, okay. When was this, this the, that cartoon made? I, I early two thousands. Okay, they probably got got like white people to do it. You said meatloaf. Meatloaf is not like uh, Latino. Dragon sin. Oh, another. You sit down another armor dragon. Oh my god. Maybe I was. Th I, you know what I think I was thinking of? Uh, Donnie Thornberry was voiced by Flea. Wait, the, oh, the the, uh, the the kid that they found. The the yeah. The, the as in the found the founder of the Red Hot Chili Peppers Flea. Oh, oh, that Flea! I thought you were talking about the same guy that voiced Mucha Lucha Flea. No. <laughs> I thought I was so confused because we were just talking about that show. Oh, hello, Slate King. Have you rewatched that recently? Uh, no, I, I've never watched through or really thought to rewatch Mucha Lucha. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I watched like a few episodes of it, and uh, and my takeaway was that this this fucking show does does not care about the actual intricacies of pro wrestling. It, did, it also didn't seem like it cared a whole lot about continuity. It also just seemed like a show that, like, it's it's so focused on school that I probably wouldn't enjoy it. School of wrestling. Focus on the school aspect. And the same with oh, Invader I Zim. I, I always felt that, like, when I was watching it, felt just felt depressing. As a kid. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from school. Why are you making me continue to persist in, like, learning about school and, like, being in school. Boy, I'd love to get... I'd, I'm out of school. I'd love to watch a show about just doing something else. And then, okay, it's a show about being in school. No! Why, why would you do this to Ed, Ed, Nettie? This is a show about not being in school. You. Why you would you put a whole season in school? So they sent a letter to the just writers of Ed, Ed, and he's like, you put the edge in school. I will never forgive you. <laughs> it also, it also ruined the theory that it was like the cul-de-sac was the afterlife. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, why would, you, what, would so they, they all go to hell now? Were the cankers? I, I I didn't watch that season. Were the cankers ever in that same school, or were, were they all like somewhere else? I would assume so, but I don't remember. Using all my fucking like potions and shit, just pouring them all in their wounds, being like, "Go, fight the Pokemon, Pokemon fighter." Jackass. I'm gonna save. If things go wrong, I'm just gonna save scum. <sighs> oh, come on, catch the monkey, sloth. That's funny. Is that uh Okay, never mind. We'll get to it when we when he when we eventually play it. Never mind. There's monkeys in Tomb Raider 3. Oh shit, okay, you got two of them. A okay, fracture! I can work with this. I can turn his his uh, insane power against him. So I am a crook. I am a crook. <laughs> All right, got a slate king. Rucker Hauer as Richard Nixon. <laughs> I I don't I don't think that would work. You don't the think it'd work? The dude's way too blonde, mainly in German, to be Richard Nixon. He had dark hair in Men in Black, didn't he? Rucker Hauer? Yeah. No, you're, you're thinking. You're, oh no, you, that's not Rick Your Hauer. That the guy, the name of that guy is Rip Torn. Rip Torn. I'm sorry, that's who I was thinking yeah. of. Yeah. <laughs> Here, look, okay, I'm gonna show you a picture. <laughs> give me a moment. Uh, I know I'm stopping again. I don't give a fuck. This is a lazy stream, and I'm being lazy and beating the game. Uh, man, Slaking has boring stats. They're all spread so evenly. Okay, uh, this is Rip Torn as he appeared in uh, Men in Black. One sec. Uh, right click, copy paste, save as, and in your chat and Discord. So that's uh, that's Rip Torn. 
Uh, and then... So, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him... Yeah. So, and, uh, this is, uh... R.I.P. This is Greg Richter Hauer. Who is he? Uh, that's, uh, the, the lead, uh, replicant in Blade Runner. Roy Batty? Yeah. Okay. That that's where I've heard the name from. Yeah, Ricker Howard. He was also you know who he was also in? What? Hobo with a shotgun. He was the hobo. Oh. Yeah. In the He's like cool. actual movie version. Yes. And you know what else he was in? He was the lead dude in uh in Lady Hawk. He's the guy who plays alongside Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Yeah. Good he's a good actor. I we got I that, I got I was trying to get like uh who is it that they said you watched Fire and Ice with? Uh Elf King and Ella Talks. You gotta get him to watch Lady Hawk. I will stand by Lady Hawk as like a fun movie. That has that has one of the best like uh like priest like evil priest characters and quick Kokili, well, like one of the best like priest characters getting fucked scenes. Yeah. Not like fucked in the good way, fucked in the bad way. Just <laughs> I saw it the first time and I and I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> okay, Fra another shit, I gotta heal. They they really love this Pokemon at this gym. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm a heal. What are the Gen 5 dragons? It's the Fracture family, it's a Drudagon, and the... This one. And, dragon and Dark. Defense dragon. Is that Taunt? Okay, good thing I only know combat. I was only planning on using combat moves. Alright, uh, foul play. <laughs> Man, I really, really want to fucking see. <laughs> are are you still picturing Rutger Hauer as Richard Nixon? I want you to know, I am not a crook. <laughs> I think he was in like a bunch of uh oh no I, I i was thinking was he in like some uh some of the robocop director's films no clue i don't know i thought i i thought he was i like how many series like robocop or how many like uh just really violent not for kids movies in the 80s they tried to make into cartoon children's franchises i mean why not just just uh just somehow Kids have heard of it. Some of them might have even seen it. Let's make it for children. Oh! Speaking of Robocop, they, Rogue City is like... They've released a demo and apparently it's like really good. I want to try to play it. I think I'm going in circles. Rogue City? Yeah, Robocop Rogue City. Is that a game? Yeah. Play as Robocop and you shoot baddies. I'm trapped Which here. also seems like it kind of loses the like the point of RoboCop. I don't think it's a roguelike. I think it's just called Rogue City. It confused me the fuck out too. I'm like, wait, is this a roguelike? No, it's just. Or you mean just the the concept of playing as RoboCop? Yeah, because I mean, like the whole point of the original RoboCop movie, or part of it, was like a commentary on the police system. Yeah, well, yeah, but the guy and who it just kind of gets watered down into like. You know, action cop shoot bad guy. Action, bad guy shoot I cop, cop good bad guy bad shoot to. No, okay, so the guy did not. The guy's really good at doing satire because he also did Starship Troopers. Yeah. Uh, um, but uh, the guy when he's like saying, "So why were you making RoboCop?" He's like, 
I wanted to make the American Jesus. <laughs> Speaking I mean, of movies whose uh, satire tends to go over people's heads. <laughs> Amer Jesus no, Christ Starship Superstar? Troopers as well. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's a... Oh, there's so many movies I want to watch with you, that being one of them. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. Can I do this? We talked about it recently. It's like a movie about, uh, basically fascism. Fascism, yeah. Uh, and, like, it's great because... Because it took... For a lot of people, it took until, like, uh, one of the characters literally walking in wearing... Get Wearing like like a faux Gestapo gear to people going, oh, I get it now. Because <laughs> there's a fine line depending on like who you ask and how it's presented between patriotism and, and fascism. Yeah, there's a it, it, very fine like it's weird because it's like you get that and then there, I don't know. Anyway, there was a fucking co-ed sour shower scene in that movie. And in Robocop 2, now that I think about it. I, I forgot, the director's Dutch, so he's got, like... So he's got, like, just, like, I, I don't care about your norms, I'm Dutch. I, I got Iris. You you got this old man with anchor chin. Drayden. Oh, wow. That is just, uh... That is fucking General... That is fucking Captain Morgan from, uh... From One Piece. Jack! Jack, I'm what? a fucking Dragon Ball character, Jack. What the fuck? What are you, are you gonna throw somebody through a mountain? I'm American Jesus. Wait, no, he American. walked on water. Okay, if, uh, there is kind of like wait to it because uh, Alex Murphy was killed and brought back to life, and also the main villain shot his hand off, so that's kind of like a crucifixion. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> American, American Jesus died for your sins. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I got this guy down pretty quickly. The American Jesus. That itself already sounds like it'd be the name of a movie. The closest I've ever thinking about when it comes to Jesus is Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah. But yeah. Oh god damn it. All right, you know what? I'm gonna send out a Pokemon as a sacrificial lamb to kind of just uh, weaken their defenses, and I'll finish with Brook. I haven't been paying attention. What's he been using? Just the, the, what? Who else have they been using? So the, the, the same dragons. Yeah, I'm sure his finisher is gonna be like something really crazy. But Dragon Breath, Cave Turtle. Oh, that didn't do shit. You fucker. Somehow still alive. Walk into well, a cave, immediately get a, a, like, baby turtle that I can't run from and it poisons me. <laughs> Ain't starting Victory Road that way. Oh, there's a Victory Road in this game. That's nice. There is. I, I... Oh, fuck that. Although this, oh, is, a... this is an easy one. This, this is not like the... The last two were really shitty. Gen 3 and Gen 4 had rough victory roads. Victory road is my least favorite part of, like, most, like, Pokemon games. It's just really unnecessary, and I think they've realized that over time. Gen, All right. Gen 6 is the France one. I don't remember if that has one. If it does, it's small. Gen 7 one. has a pretty light one. And Gen 8? What was Gen 8? Gen 8 was, uh, was Sword and Shield. Yeah, that was British, and I, that... It just that, had, that like, had a little a, path I, through some snow. Yeah. Victory... Victory Road. And then Gen 9 had Victory Meadow. Or you could just skip it and fly over the wall straight to the building. Victory Meadow. See? That sounds nice and peace... Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this cave is full of, like, really strong, unevolved Pokémon. Really strong, uh... I'm getting my ass beat by Turtwigs and Tentacles. <laughs> oh, did you increase your attack? That's nice. Oh, you're doing it again! Thank you! 
He's very generous, this Haxorus fella. Foul play. Got him. All right, cool. I don't know how to describe it. He doesn't look, like, flamboyant enough to be a dragon trainer. Like, the last ones we've had all wear fucking capes. This dude's in, just into, like, a vest. Oi! You like me lobster, though. I have obtained it. Now I'll... We'll follow my commands. Dragon tail, cool. Give it to my bird. Give it to my rock bird. That uh, forces the opponent to uh, switch out. Oh, okay. In addition to being an attack move. Oh, that's that'd be great, like tricky thing to do. I think it's it always goes second though. Oh well. I'll, hmm. Head to the Pokemon League and go after Alder. Yep. I, will make I know it's rock strength, titan. But I Perform a dragon oh, dance. Oh yeah, I'm you gotta deal with N or whatever. In Captain N, game ma Pokemon master, I guess. I I would have loved to see Pokemon characters in Captain N. I want to see how mu how badly they would fuck them up. I, I don't Pikachu know. would be a rabbit or something. <laughs> Pikachu, hippity hoppity. Remember when Pikachu was fat? I do. Yeah, and then uh, I missed that. He he was like he was cuddly and round. Alucard, you incompetent idiot! What? Did, have you not seen Captain N, Dracula, and Alucard? I, I I only know Captain N through Excuse Me Princess, which I think is somehow more insufferable than uh, CDI Link. That is, uh, that's the Zelda cartoon, that's not Captain N. I oh. don't remember if Link was in Captain N. Let's see, the main team in Captain N was... Pit from Kid Icarus, who was like, he was very short, he was chibi. Uh, Mega Man, who was like very squat and wide, and he sounded like he smoked 12 packs a day. Why not just have a like text to speech? Like, Microsoft Sam was a. There was a funnier. Simon Belmont who looked like the Crimson Chin, or like Jay Leno. He was just a massive chiseled dude who was full of himself and always looking in the mirror. <laughs> oh my god. What? That's just... I'm the know, most beautiful character on Nintendo, Simon Ca Belmont. Captain N basically ran on, like, webcomic logic for these characters, huh? They just did what the fuck ever. And, uh, other Castlevania appearances were for one episode. Dracula looked and sounded like you would expect a Dracula to look and sound like. Did he Did he say his name over and over? And, <laughs> Dracula, uh, Dracula, Dracula, Dracula! <laughs> Alucard was like a cool 80s, 90s teenager talking like, Major Bummer! <laughs> riding around on a skateboard. Wait, was he actually riding around on yes. a skateboard? Yes. <laughs> I, I will show you the Captain N Dracula scene. I'm s Darian, I'm sorry, that sounds fucking hilarious. Wearing bat-shaped sunglasses. Yeah, Darian has drawn Captain N, uh... Simon. Yeah, I let, don't let know if he's drawn the others. Let me see this fucking picture. Alright? I got it. I got to see card. this. Here, I, I will post the video. You can you can watch it on your phone or whatever. I'm watching it now, yeah. Oh uh, what is this? Netflix Castlevania, <laughs> but it's Captain N. <laughs> the blue skin, the the, the pompadour. The sunglasses, the, it, it just the cape with the t-shirt and belt and the skateboard. He doesn't look anything like Castlevania Dracula. <laughs> I was picturing like like white-haired like Alucard just with a skateboard and talking like that, but no, this is just this is just like. <laughs> Darian, can you uh, can you DM me your uh, your drawing of Captain N Simon? That skateboard also doesn't function at all. It's got wings on the side. Give that to the Braille people. Have them skate it and be like, this sucks. <laughs> oh, 
All right, vampires rule. Is uh, Captain N. Simon Belmont. He looks like he's about to go exploring in the Arctic. He does. He looks he like looks... Uh, he looks like he should be pulling out a gun and shooting Laura Croft. <laughs> All right, playtime's over. <laughs> wow, Captain N really just did not know anything about like they were given a secondhand description of like a character and what they did, and they're like, okay, we can work with this. I think Craig and Ridley were in it, but they were like super. They were the same size as Samus, and they were super off model. Oh man, you can't just say that and not let me see that, dude. The uh, the main bad guy was Mother Brain, and she was voiced by the same person as Audrey the Plant, using the same voice. Audrey, Audrey the from Little uh, Shop from... of Horrors. Oh my god. And then a bunch of Nintendo like execs and devs looked at it, and they just all recoiled in horror, and they're like. Her minions were the Kid Icarus Eggplant Wizard and, uh, uh, who else? Uh, King Hippo from Punch-Out. This is just fanfic terror. This, these are all just, like, fanfic authors. It's, it's fanfic authors by people who know absolutely nothing about the source material. But at, okay, least, it's, at least it's funny bad. Yeah, as opposed to just offensive. Oh, Okay, Darian's drawing makes him look like a look like a JoJo character. He looks like I like that drawing. That, that, he makes him endearing in a way. I, I can imagine him as like a as like a Belmont from like the fifth from like the nineteen fifties. Yeah. Or like the twenties, nineteen twenties Belmont, just like, just like I'm gonna go exploring, smashing. Imagine that's the Belmont. That's the Belmont that fought the Nazi vampires. But German science is the greatest science in the world. If it's so great, why'd you get all get taken over by vampires? Oh, that's right, the JoJo's did fight the Nazi vampires. They Wait, fought no. Nazi. They actually teamed up with Nazis to fight like ultra vampires. Well, yeah, but the guy didn't seem like he was such a good Nazi. He didn't reference the regime once. He just said Germany and Germany this, Germany that. Yeah. He also was yeah. not like repentant about being a no, Nazi or anything. He wasn't. He wasn't, which made that whole thing kind of uncomfortable. We're like, wait, this guy's like an actual, like he's an ally with the heroes. Well, I mean, they're fighting like literal, like like monsters and forces of. No, he, he was a full on unapologetic Nazi. They just tried not to bring it up as much as possible. Yeah, they're like, well, we don't agree with what you're, and you know what? He died in Stalingrad, so eventually karma got to him. The Russians got him. Fucking. Oh, this track. Oh, you've heard this one? Uh, I think this was in Smash Brothers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was in Smash Brothers. Route 10. What? We're this... We're our... We're this far in the game. We've done eight gyms. We're up to Route 10. Yeah, one... one at least one per route. That's how few routes are in this game. A very linear. Oh, dog, you doggo. I'm afraid of what's in these caves now. I'm gonna run into a magic carp and it's gonna have like a 500 attack stat. <laughs> What's it gonna. It's just gonna. Oh, wait, no. Moves, moves are random. That would be a tremendous randomize, randomization if you got a Pokemon with like. Uh, one in every stat, but an insane attack stat. Jeez. The literal glass cannon. Well, it's got one in every stat. It's, it's always going to hit last. I think, the, I think the, the maximum is 255, though. I don't think it can go above that for a base stat. Oh, we, we just intimidated each other. Oh, you're like, uh, you're like Yashihime characters. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight either. But we have to come up with a reason to fight. <laughs> well, the series has nice characters, but it feels like they're making everything up as they go. It, it feels like a tabletop session. Uh, yeah, I like I like those. Though. I like tabletop sessions. Oh, we, we started watching uh, MHA again after my long ass hiatus from it. Yeah. Uh, the, and uh, uh, 
the Shigaraki backstory was rough. It was very emotional. Yeah, and then and then he started talking normally, and then you and then you made a horrifying revelation that it was uh, that it was Eric Vale all along. Oh yeah, I I did not realize that uh, the, the bad guy, the hands guy, Shigaraki, is voiced by Eric Vale because he does like this this this. this Hi, psycho voice the whole time. And then he finally starts talking normally, and it, it's just trunks. Yeah, just trunks. Just... And, and he dresses all fancy. Like, he's, like he was wearing a hand, his, his hair is all lighter, and he has a cape, he's got a nice jacket. Yeah, he's he, like, he leveled up, he's got bright white hair like a JRPG villain, and he's wearing a fucking suit and a, like a king's cape. It is the most bizarre fashion <laughs> statement. And you know what else? They 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 renamed the fucking like uh <laughs> And I the, joked about this. I was like referring to the uh, Meta Liberation Army uh, as well, like I guess as, like, my, my Hero Academia things. spoilers, like season five, okay. season six, but uh if, Yeah, they, they renamed the League of Villains. To uh, something, they they renamed it to the Paranormal Liberation Front, basically. The Paranormal Liberation. Which is a name that you joked about when you were just sh like throwing out stupid, made-up names, similar Based to the League of Villains. Metal Liberation Army. Yeah. And then they did that. I'm like, what? That is what I said. And I just joked about how okay, we are we our new objective. Is to liberate paranormal forces. Uh, it may it's it's really strikes me as a like not totally fluent in English for the moment because that that name it makes no fucking sense. It sounds like they're gonna go recruit some ghosts. <laughs> some ghosts, some psychics. Okay, listen up. Shigaraki comes up. He's like, okay, listen up. I'm looking for any psychics or like was aliens, time travelers, espers. and espers. And fuck it, sliders too. Why not? You uh, anybody here? We need one of those. Uh, Shigaraki, are you sure about this change in our uh, organization structure? I'm, I'm sure we'll need all. <laughs> this seems kind of like uh, on a whim. I don't know. It's so funny. Just like, what are you doing, Shigaraki? Paranormal Liberation Front. Like, <laughs> like, like that's that's it's like if if they. <laughs> Uh, it's a very it, silly name. They're gonna go. They're gonna go to Bleach characters and they're gonna fight the Stern Ritter with them. This is like, hey, you we're here. Help. You guys are ghosts. We're here to liberate you. <laughs> God. He went from being a destructive, like, uh, like psychopathic anarchist to just being really concerned with, like, uh, with, like, paranormal activity. Hey, Alucard, why are you working for this Helsing organization? We're here to liberate you. Come work for us. <laughs> so just, imagine, like, imagine, like, you're trying to sell a haunted house and then a creepy dude with hands all over his body, a dude who dressed up like, like a black and white Deadpool, a psychotic schoolgirl, and, and a theatrical dude in a mask come up to you. And a dude with, like, burns all over his body. And they're just here, like, we're here to investigate your haunted house. Shigaraki does ghost hunters. <laughs> all right. Ghosts. Ghosts. Are you here? Are you here, ghosts? I, I did Come see on, Helsing and I did see himself. Alucard in Call of Duty. It, it is supremely strange. Okay, I saw a video by Yosho, uh, who is a guy who specifically plays Call of Duty, and he makes, like, cursed gun builds. And apparently they added the Doom Super Shotgun to it. Yeah. And, and, the, and they kept the fucking janky-ass, like, frames. Yeah, and Call of just, Duty has just become an, another crossover machine like Fortnite. That's the in thing to do now. Yeah. But yeah, like, uh, but people were looking at it, they're like, Dude, your lag is so bad, bro. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just like playing Doom in 1999. My Windows 98. Oh, you're you're dark, aren't you? It's a uh, dark fighting. Okay, well I'm gonna have dark fighting. Speaking of uh, Call of Duty, the acquisition uh, went through. Microsoft now owns Activision properties. Oh, fuck! All right. 
I, I'm not big on monopolies, but at the same no. time, they couldn't possibly do worse for those properties than Activision did. You you say that, but there, you could always do as bad. They could do worse. as bad. They're just saying they couldn't do worse. I I, think... I, I wonder if that has anything to do with why we're finally getting uh, Tony Hawk on Steam. Finally, yeah. That maybe planning to stream that soon. It's coming up. Was gonna ask how Yashihime was. It's fine. It's not I, bad. It doesn't like, feel like a cash grab like Boruto did, especially because it's only two seasons. Yeah, I, I think honestly, I it's not it's not bad. You, you have an enjoyable time watching it. Yeah. Ironically, if you, don't like, if you don't take it too seriously, Min I, it's Min a show that. I think we're, we, it has enough flaws for us to make fun of it, similar to Bleach. Like, we're yeah. getting more abridged-style jokes out of Yashihime than we did out of Inuyasha. But, I will say, Moroha is is fucking ace of Good the... character. Uh, I, I like yeah. the characters in the show, it's just, it's not really doing anything with them. In my opinion. <laughs> yeah... Inuyasha I, above average. I, I do like Inuyasha still, though. I think it holds is up. Is that... That's a fighting type, right? Uh, yes. Perfect. I had some good moments, though. That, that uh... There was that Yashi one ep Yeah, it has... It has it's had good episodes, which is why I'm not writing it off. Oh, yeah, I'm a psychic. You didn't expect that, huh? Are you gonna kick me again? What do you think that's gonna do, Psybeam? Boy, I would love to stop using this uh, this Regirock. He's, he's really not up to snuff with my other Pokemon, it would seem. Yay, I got you! She was the champion in my version. Ah. Uh, well, she's a champion of uh, nothing but this road. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I'm I'm leveling up Yahweh, and I don't fully know why. I think I'm waiting for him to get like a, like a good attack move, because he's got a great special attack stat. Just nothing to do with it. Other series I need to sit down and watch. Inuyasha is not really fast paced. I wouldn't call it slow paced either. It it's just got. Pay it moves it's, along gradually. It's steady. It's steady. It has a lot of episodic content. Did Inuyasha was Inuyasha kind of slow? Like kind of took it a while to get its stride at the very beginning. I don't think so. When we did that that discussion, we talked about anime intros. Inuyasha was the one that I think started the most consistently. Yeah, fair enough. Wait, or was most consistent throughout, I suppose. Wait, maybe maybe uh, Yashihime is like that, where the it, where the first half is like not so good, and the second half is like a lot better. Maybe I'm I'm kind of hoping that they get their their act together more in season two. I heard what little I've heard of Yashihime is that the second half is better than the first half. So yeah. who knows? If it, if it if it's better marginally, that's not going to be good. What's over here? The, the worst uh, it can do uh, is become, like, just good enough to be competent, because then it won't be funny bad anymore. Yeah. If it, if it plays it safe. Inuyasha was interesting compared to other shonen-type shows, because it had, like, a, a twinge of grim to it, similar to, like, something like Majora's Mask. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, death and, like, d Japanese yokai horror stuff going on in it. It's not played up to the degree of, like, Junji Ito or something, but, uh... Dude. I kind of like that that indirectly makes Kagome such a badass, because she's just this ordinary, you know, high schooler, walking around graveyards, not batting an eye. Just like, oh, jeez, this looks terrible. A lot of people died here. And she has sympathy, but she doesn't, she isn't, like, surprised, which... Makes Toa like kind of weird in that she's looking at it all stuff, being like, "Wait, isn't this a bit fucked up? This is fucked yeah, up, right?" To Toa 
has much, the Yashihime character has much more, like, normal modern girl reactions to, like, horrible feudal era shit. Yeah, which... How, what was Kagome like? That, 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 the shit she dealt with just didn't phase her. Was she secretly, like, like a freak? Like, 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 freaky? Just, like... She read horror stuff? I know that in the future this is, like, shocking to you. No, I'm fine with this, actually. Helped by the score, too. It's got a... I, I love the Inuyasha soundtrack. It's one of my favorite anime soundtracks. Oh, yeah. It's a... Kaoru Wada, full, like, orchestral. Lots of uh, very Japanese... It's not, it's not like, uh, it doesn't incorporate rock, like the Naruto soundtrack, but, uh, kind of similar in some ways, I guess. Grass. Do I have anything weak against grass? Of course, to fight grass, I need fire. I just call him plant type, not grass type. Early Pokemon translation, just stuck. I've mentioned the, the dark type is evil type in Japan. Yeah, and I, as I find the, the concept of bug beating evil funny because because it's a common writer reference. And literally it really? nobody It is, yeah. <laughs> Why else would it be there? I don't know. There's a lot there's a lot of Pokemon types that just kinda never made sense. Fairy type. Steel uh, type. The steel type made more sense in the gold silver beta, where it was Ooh, get, super effective. Uh, electric Crunch. was super effective on steel, and so was water because like rust. But they changed it for uh, for balancing purposes. Shit, I don't know what to. I don't know if I want to put Crunch on crackers. Uh, what has he got? Acrobatics, ancient power, I believe, is special, and he's a physical attacker, isn't he? Yeah, but that. I forget, like, what the type is for Ancient Power. Ancient, oh, no, Ancient Power is 60 power rock type special move. Oh, that's the one where, if, where sometimes you get all your stats up if it hits. There's like a 10% chance, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll take. But it's also rock type. Shit. Dragon Breath is that's also that. 60 power special. Yeah, that's Ancient Dragon. Power is 90 power because it's got stab. Yeah. Do I want to get rid of agility? You're probably never going to use agility. No. This guy's not designed for sweeping. He's... Electric. Uh, gee, I wonder what this guy's type is. It's a what? fire type. God. I just really... I don't have anything that's... Oh! Crook! Because he's ground, and electric doesn't work against ground. I got bad news for you. What? Well, you're right about that. It, it is defensively good, but uh, it has levitate. Oh, I got, I'm using dark, so fuck it. And other uh, other news of shows I've been watching. I've been uh, uh -huh. I watched all of what exists of One Punch Man. Oh yeah. Is it still is it still consistently good? Uh, it got a little better over over the course of the show. There was a little bit of payoff. It is kind of a frustrating show to watch because uh, it's a show that likes to edge you. Because <laughs> the whole joke is that Saitama is like the most powerful badass dude ever and no one knows or acknowledges it. And yes. you want to root for him. You want him to like be acknowledged. And you only get like little bits of it. Like every now and again, someone sees him. He's like, wow, that dude's awesome and nothing ever really comes of it. I, I, th I thought the whole joke was that was that everybody's like, oh, I'm going to be the most powerful threat. He beats him in one punch, and that's the and that's like the punch the, the punchline. <laughs> that's also a, a very recurring punchline. Yeah. Punchline. Also, Saitama is kind of like an idiot a lot of the time. And avoid, yeah. Like he says he wants to be more known, he wants to be successful, but he just av avoids all of the opportunities to do so. That's not that's not frustrating. That's relatable. I I I it's social. He's got social anxiety and he's too strong. I get it. It's also, not social anxiety though. It's like really really obvious shit. 
<laughs> Dude, so somebody did like a fan art of a crossover between, of a Dragon Ball Z and One Punch Man. Yeah. And uh, and it was Vegeta about to fight Saitama. And like like they were like Vegeta was like fighting at him and then Saitama was like really into it and Vegeta was like about to fight him and then Bulma called him and was like you got to come home. <laughs> And he was in full Saiyan armor, and I'm just like, oh, that's funny. Having now watched it, it also season two of One Punch Man. Uh, season one was more self-contained, and then they introduced a bunch of plot stuff in season two and didn't wrap it all up. So now it's just kind of ended on a cliffhanger. Oh, and, then, and the show ended. That's that sucks. I don't know if that's... we'll get a season three or not. Oh, that big O, like uh, problem. It, it's possible we could still get a season three, but uh, having seen all of it, I, I will say that uh, I don't think a Dragon Ball Z character could punch as hard as Saitama. Oh yeah, nobody. Could I, punch I, I as don't hard know as... how shit would work out with like energy blasts and all that in the equation, but uh, we we see like one really serious punch from Saitama. Pretty impressive. Oh, he's just holding back the entire time? He's it's just, like, uh, you, know. you know in Dragon Ball Z games when you zoom out on Earth and you see, like, a giant explosion on the planet? It's like that, just but, but with a muscle punch. <laughs> I don't think Dragon Ball Z characters can punch quite that hard. Saitama can beat anybody. Oh. He, that's, you remove, that's if you remove key from the equation. Okay. So, uh, so Saitama, uh, uh, with his, like, one-punch powers versus a Yujiro, and him imagining he's the strongest person in, uh, on Earth. Yeah, Baki has, uh, ba as Baki continues... <laughs> Baki! Baki has gotten into its best arc yet! <laughs> we, we got, uh, we're, we're on the latest season of the Baki anime. We, we did the Pickle the Caveman arc, and, uh, Baki and Yujiro are finally... Like they're having father they're meeting, son time. Probably going they're, to fight. They're, they're having dinner with each other. They, they like, are having Baki's father son time. Him. Yes. And meanwhile, Retsu Kaya is just boxing. I was gonna say as Boxy goes on, uh, Boxy. <laughs> as Baki goes on, it's having like it, it feels like it's having more and more trouble justifying how strong and these characters are supposed to be. Because yeah. Yujiro Hanma gets compared to, like, the power of an entire nation's army frequently. Yeah. But then when it comes down to actually, okay, but what if, like, we, we had, like, tank uh, armor-piercing rounds or, or, like, like tank fire? What would we, we all aim for him at once? And the world leaders are like, well, actually, it's that, that like, no, none of us want to take the initiative to attack him first, because that'll piss all the other leaders off. Because what if he is stronger, that he would kill us all? Yeah. And... And it's like and it's not like he's like actually like stronger. It's like King from uh from One Punch. Is it like you've seen the entirety of it? Like that's King's power, right? Uh wait, I, I guess One Punch Man spoilers. King is just complete he's Hercule. He's a complete fraud. Oh uh, yeah. King was around for several jobs that Saitama did and got the credit for him, and now King is known as the strongest man on earth. Oh, I get it. That makes sense. So he's just a totally ordinary dude. He has no powers whatsoever. The infamous, like, early Baki line. Nothing can kill him, not even a nuke. And that was, he wasn't even talking about Yujiro. He was talking about a guy who wasn't even as, as strong as Yujiro. And they don't elaborate on that line. They like to just, they drop shit like that and then do not elaborate. It's just... What do you? Somebody goes. What do you mean by that? He's like, I, I would think it's self-evident. Because it's a show that's all about like hype, and not you're not actually supposed to think about these things too hard. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's like pro wrestling hype, hype where like the guys like this is Jisho Khan. He is the strongest, and he's running out of a water and just off screen. He's like, it's faster than any of your quarterbacks. Ha! And it's just like. Remember when when uh, Yujiro like punched the ground when a hurricane was like a, not a hurricane uh, earthquake, earthquake was going on and it stopped and I theorized oh that's just good timing yeah. he knew it was gonna stop and he punched it to make it seem like it stopped it's all <laughs> this guy is this guy is kind of tough this fish 
I don't like it. I don't like handfish. Who are you? I am handfish. Good name for like uh, an, an alternative band, handfish. Oh, I got it. I I know, I know who I ship who with who with now, and that's because it, because you said hand. Okay. It's, uh, I ship <laughs> ship uh uh fucking uh oh god not Toa it's uh Tomura Shigaraki with uh, Kikimura. <laughs> okay. They both hand motifs for the win. I guess yeah. I I guess she's got like the 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 hand shaped hair thing. Well, yeah, and also, she does she have, like, a hand dragon? Did she? I guess she did. Yeah. Wow, this this dragon's tough. I guess this I can just keep it's... going with Lum. I just, it can't hurt me. Metal dragon. This is... This is... Just diving underwater over and over. It's like I'm fighting a stand user, fighting a uh, fighting diver down. Oh, I also uh, I'm watching uh, Mob Psycho, the second series by the One Punch Man author. Yeah, is it better or worse than uh... than One Punch Man? Yeah. Uh, I think I liked One Punch Man slightly more. I appreciate that Mob Psycho is distinct looking from other anime. There's a lot of very samey looking anime these days. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the ideas aren't very creative. It's got some nice like character writing, but the fights are a lot of stuff that like has been seen before. Uh, and, it, and the series seems to be focusing more on that as it goes on. On fights? Yeah. Well... I mean, it's seen before by us, but probably not people who have or like jumping into anime. It's like who haven't watched. Oh, taunt! Coming, yeah, taunt. Oh, that be that could be useful. I don't think I've ever used taunt. I mean, it's better. It'd be oh for Hot Kong. Oh, you don't want people attacking him. He can't take a hit. Fair enough. Also, the art, the the. Uh, the author's representation is not the best, to put it in the nicest way possible. Okay, well, you don't have to elaborate, I can imagine. Unless you want to. Uh... Most of it's just, just kinda, you know, subpar, but not, like, unforgivable. The, the worst case is that, uh, there, 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 there's a Mr. Popo in Mob Psycho. <sighs> in 2016... That's... It's not, it's not great. Why, why, though? I oh, you sucker me in with the fucking, like, ice thing and the hot concrete take him out, and then you kill me with the hyper beam. Thanks a lot, asshole. <sighs> Crackers, you're up. Kill him. I've come to the realization lately that a lot of uh, a lot of manga authors aren't that great at writing. They mostly get published because they're they're good at, at drawing. Yeah, I mean, are there exceptions? I have said that, like, I, I'm consistently impressed with a lot of the writing decisions that the My Hero author makes. And it's really yeah. refreshing to see like a mainstream manga author who does is, is like really trope aware. And, and thinks about what he's doing over the course of the thing. Yeah. Because Whereas I'm used to shit like like Bleach and Naruto, where they're clearly just making that shit up as they go. Writing and drawing are like separate, are like kind they're of very separate different talents. skills. They're very different skills and like with the different pathways. Art is is visual and uh, writing is like very structural and and require and like has more a different kind of thought. So the fact that like. So ideally, what you would want is you'd want like a uh, a writer to team up with like a really good manga author, and that's when you would create something really good. No, I agree. But, I, I think that's what a lot of the best, well, a lot of the best anime is like not based on a manga. It, it's originally just written for television by someone who is a dedicated writer, like Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. 
Code Ge Imagine Code Geass, but instead of a dedicated writer, it's written by whoever designed the characters. Just whoever that then, random dude was. Then it would be it would be more comedic, I think. It'd, It'd be, be a very like, different show. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, was it Clamp or uh, Clamp and Sunrise were behind it, right? Yeah. Shit. It might actually be like a Yaoi become a Yaoi series. Maybe. Uh, I other know. examples along that line, uh, we talk about Urusei Yatsura a lot, which was dramatically transformed in the anime because it was directed by Oshi, who was like yeah. completely different from Takahashi in the way he handled <laughs> things. Oh yeah, he made it almost all, all mystical and shit. He's like, "Wait, you're dealing with aliens? Like, uh, like, uh, a like ancient Japanese shit is like aliens? Sign me the fuck up! I'm gonna do some crazy shit with this." Hey, Oshi, being the director of Ghost in the Shell, yes, ta taking on this like wacky Ranma one half style romantic comedy style show. It's that's why I love Urusei so much. It's just a, such a fascinating situation. Like, yeah. how did we get here? with that sometimes sometimes the work we experience like games and stuff is just more than the sum of its parts uh like and, and like create and like weird creative like uh, like combinations like that could create something very very insane like and and i just would love to see like david lynch write something and have like a anime dude direct it yeah yeah i think i think it's weird that David Lynch, of all people, didn't hop on, like, like animation as, like... Oh, no, he did! Actually, I take that back. He did do anim... David Lynch did do animation. He dived into that. Oh, yeah? Ask me... Ask me if the animation quality was good. Was the animation quality any Fuck good? no! It was... It was, like... It was... Not... It was, like... Amateur... It was very, very amateurish. Like... Did it have um, creative ideas, though? Um, the fact that I can't remember what, what, like, it was is probably, like, a sign that it probably wasn't all that... Oh, I'm fighting my rival. You're heading for the Pokemon League, right? Oh, oh that's really. right. Alder Champion Dude went off to fight N or something. I'm sure he'll succeed and we won't have to fight him. Haven't seen Baki. I've seen plenty of out of context clips online, and someone described it as what people who have never watched JoJo think it's like. <laughs> um, I describe Baki as JoJo, but it tr it pretends it's realistic and it's what it's less self aware. Yeah, I think it's less self aware. It's really hard to tell with Baki. It, it, it's already kind of hard to tell with JoJo. I think about, like, uh... It's probably just you, Sandstorm. It definitely is similar to JoJo, and sure. it is clearly just... It, it does ridiculous shit for the memes. Hey, I realize it makes no sense for these two giant, muscular dudes to quietly walk into, into a phone booth before they continue their fight, but it'd be funny if they did. <laughs> I think... You know what? I think it is self-aware, because in some ways, like, Baki's whole thing dealing... Like, imagining himself fighting a bug, to, like, simply to train harder is, 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 like, is, like, an expression of him, like, imagining all these, like, ridiculous situations. Like, yeah. I mean, the bug can't live when it's that big. I know. But what if it could? And in a way, in a way I respect that kind of mentality. I really do. I, I do like that. Um, it's why I really like Baki, because it's just a guy unabashedly just writing a bunch of insane shit simply because it am the idea amused him. And I think okay. if you're gonna write for somebody, the first, the, uh, the thing you should write, the person you should be writing for first is yourself. Fucking uh, Biscuit Oliver. You know, if yes. I flex all of my muscles, I would outgrow this building. I'd explode out of it. <laughs> and that's the one where somebody goes, that's fucking stupid. Alright, you're right, I can't do that. But what if I could? <laughs> <laughs> what if what if I could that Baki what if what if this happened the, the, the soldier dude walking Yujiro around the museum hey if, if, if you fought this dinosaur could you beat this one 
and you hear is like, I'm like, I can't imagine myself doing anything else because if I do, I'm going to lose my the ability to focus on my imagining myself as the strongest person on earth. Remember, remember when that boxer dead? Remember when that boxer like punched out his ghost dead? And then, and then, and then the fucking, and then the other boxer in fucking that. The fucking uh, Retsu Kaio as boxer arc. If I had a nickel for every time a boxer said he met his ghost dad in Baki the Grappler, I'd have two nickels. <laughs> Which, Which isn't uh, a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. For Baki, it's not weird. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the Paranormal Liberation Front could, should, should go recruit those boxer ghosts. <laughs> I met my ghost dad, Shigaraki. Oh, interesting. Tell me more. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh you're you're fighting the the, the snake, emperor yeah, snake it's, thing. It's fine. I'll punch him. I'll punch him with my fire fist. Chinese myth snake. Chinese myth snake. Oh, his defense is rising. I didn't consider that. Do I have That's any healing fine. items? He's got... He's got leftovers. It's fine, I got him! Those Flare Blitz. Oh, he slammed me. No, oh, that was a crit. That, that, I would have survived without it. Oh, I was gonna say other, like, really... famous, infamous examples of the, uh, the writing versus manga thing are, uh... Helsing and Full Metal Alchemist. Since those, the anime, the first animes for both of those went in uh, completely different directions from the manga. Yeah, and I, I like the an I like the anime versions better personally. I uh, like uh, you like uh, Helsing better than Helsing Ultimate. Yeah. Oh, same. I like I like the original Helsing a whole lot. It was a lot more character focused as opposed to Helsing Ultimate being a uh, very action flash focused. It's fine. You. It knows what it is. It is just a, a, yeah. a more interesting direction for the show to me. Also, the soundtrack was good. Crispin Freeman. I think Crispin Freeman was in both, but yeah, like the voice actors and actresses were very good in that show. The original Helsing. I, I'm rewatching it with Darian. Uh, the acting oh, good... is not as good as I remembered it, but uh, they got a fully like native British cast to to make sure it was authentic. Except, is Crispin Freeman British? No, besides him. Okay. Yeah, uh, there you go. Sarah's Victoria voice actress was, like, really fun in that. Oh, I got flying. Flying is, is strong against uh, grass. The original Helsing was more about her arc of, like, learning to be a vampire after she got turned. Yeah. As opposed to Helsing Ultimate just very quickly turning in her into, like, some psycho animal monster killing machine. Which, if well, you're into that, great. It's not as interesting to me, personally. Yeah, character arcs are, are something that interests you. Oh, water. Shit. I got nothing that's strong against that. I need to get some healing. Oh, I got, I got a water guy of my own. This person fucked me up. Oh, this is my rival. Of course, he's fucked me up. Ha, ah, I'm water. Does not. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, you're faster than me! I don't have a lot of healing items. He should have stocked up like I did. Sucks to be you. I could avoid fights, I, I guess. I think there is a doctor in Victory Road. I think there's a doctor trainer. Wow. Fucking... This, this fucking, like, hot monkey is just like... Why are you quicker than I am? Oh, now I'm burned. Great, my attack's been cut in half. You're a quadruped covered in seashell armor. Alright. 
<sighs> Fighting type. How strong is Razor Leaf? Leaf? Crackers is, is not going to be faster than them. <sighs> oh, I got Aqua Jet. I can hit first one more time. Kill me! Okay. Oh, what is this? Is this gonna hurt? Okay, not too bad. Oh, you're faster than I am. Great. Well, that was a bad idea. Rest in peace, crackers. Should have just sit, went out with Buggy. Oh, by the way, did I forget to mention this was a Nuzlocke? <laughs> I've seen people... Uh, I've seen videos of people doing Nuzlocke in the more recent Pokemon games. And I have to wonder how that works. Because now what that kill? they're not random what encounters... Now that they're not random encounters, how do you determine what the first Pokemon you encounter is? Uh, guessing, guessing it's to a point where it's like, okay, when it, when the encounters become random, oh, oh, for the yeah, because they're how do how do you measure what the first one to appear? I guess the first one to appear on your screen, first one to appear in the grass. I think uh, Sword and Shield still had random encounters. There was like shaking grass that you could investigate. That's oh, not that doesn't exist in uh, Scarlet Violet anymore. I might I might have to drag out an electric type to fight that guy for the for the monkey. The mo why the, why is the monkey literally faster than everything I had? Do you have any TMs that would be useful? Oh, just give somebody an electric type move? I don't think I do. Electric or grass? Oh, god damn it. Oh, I... Lom, you're Volt up. Switch. I hope you're immune. Volt switch. You'd need that on a special attacker. Uh, no one can learn point. it anyway. I oh grass not monkey's not that heavy though. Literal okay. <laughs> Wait, why is the fire type able to learn grass not? Is grass not physical or special? Uh, I think it's physical. Uh, it's, it's special. special. What? Why? You think that like that like tying a grass into a knot would be? Well, fuck! All my physical people are are more than happy to like learn a special type move. Who can yeah, uh, can the the otter learn it? Because it can take the yeah. hits. Okay. Well, it can take three hits. That thing is. I want to. I want to reiterate that that fucking. That fucking monkey, like, was able to take down my defensive, like, uh, like, otter within three hits of Scald. Somehow. It's so strong. It is somehow, like, the strongest fucking thing on, uh, that he has on his team. Do you have any other Pokemon that would be useful? I, they're not leveled. Who knew that water types would suddenly become, like, one of the most threatening things? This was a dead end. I didn't even need to come here. Oh, uh, if you have a Pokemon with water absorb, it would be totally immune. I don't know if you do. I don't. Bug grass. What's, up? What's, in, what's in the next box? Dear guy. Steel. Water doesn't really take down steel out that well, I don't think. Uh... I think water deals neutral damage to steel. What's its special defense like? Uh, special defense is... It's not that high a level, though. See, look, its special defense is shit. It's high, but it's not, like... 
not broken or anything. No. I'm gonna have to play. I'm gonna have to. Like, it's too late. No, I'm not gonna release them. I'm gonna have to just play with the dice I got. Like, all the other Pokemon I got that could probably take him down, it would take. It would just be. I. <sighs> Wait. Okay, I thought that guy was shiny for a second. Water absorb? Oh, dry skin. That's what you're talking about, right? Uh, that might also be useful. <clears throat> Joltik would be great if, like... It's level 24, though. Yeah. I got nothing. I'm just gonna have to roll Volga? with it. Amolga was level 30. That is grass type, but... No, Amolga is the flying, the electric squirrel. Oh, yeah? Shit. Alright. That guy knows, that guy can learn Volt Switch. I just... Wait! I do Volt Switch, I switched it, I have, I put one on the... I... Can oh wait, no, nobody the... can learn Volt Switch. Shit, I was thinking grass could. not. No, I lead with a guy with Volt Switch. I Volt Switch out, uh, and and go to another person, and then use Grass Knot on him until he dies. But who would I switch out? Now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run with the team I got. I think I think I can play this better than last time. I was already down a bunch of Pokemon even before like the, the Water Monkey came out. I don't want to use a full restore. You know what? I'm going to put Lum in front. Lum, Lum can run from things. Run away! Run away! Bugsy. Hot Kong. Level 45, <laughs> and yet his, his one share type is ground, which makes him... When does the like, crackers level up again? Uh, 37. Alright, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna have to grind! <sighs> Come on! Kill me! Wait, no, he's still gonna be rock! Fuck! Still gonna have a weakness. I got, like, a bunch of Pokemon that share, like, a, a weak type with. Ah. Uh... I am... <clears throat> wow, road... I got... I'm, I'm, I'm hitting a roadblock. Did you not fight that trainer before? I did, but I'm just, like, thinking about what I'm gonna do, and I'm, like... Th like, a bunch of my Pokemon are, like, weak to water. And I, I haven't been in this position before. Where, so Crook, my strongest, weak to water. Hot Kong, weak to water. Crackers, weak to water. So three of my Pokemon. Are, so, Buggy can can Buggy. He's probably he's not like Rock. He's Fighting type, but it's. I don't think he'd be that much better against. Special. It's called special move type move, right? Yeah. Okay. 78, but somehow it was able to take him out. Oh no, because that other guy used slam. Alright. I'm just gonna roll I'm just gonna roll with it. Come on, you asshole, let's go. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat some cactus and get high. I forget to go. Oh, this run. I. There's a. There's an electric TM coming up, but it's in Victory Road.
geez, I didn't know like the perfect ideal team composition for for uh, for getting through this game. Fuck me, right? Yeah, the uh, EXP share change was definitely welcome for just like playing casually and using a variety of Pokemon. Yeah. No, you gotta be hardcore in order to play the game. Shut up. Dark Souls like can be hard, but at least it can be hard no matter whichever way you play the game. If you want to just be a knight with like a shield and a sword, the game allows that. You don't need to like maximize like like a specific stat combination in order to somehow make it easier for yourself. I thought stats were pretty important in Dark Souls. They are, but like in general, it if you just if you just good enough at like dodging and shit, you can just beat any kind of bosses you want. It, it, like you can beat them like like in in like a few minutes faster with like stat combinations. That's fine. People mostly care about PvP on that. I don't give a fuck about PvP about on Dark Souls a whole lot. I just like to fight bosses and just experience the world. And you know what? That's okay. People don't get people don't really give each other shit about that. I'm ready this time. Cyberbug. This bug just performed a rain dance. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking flare blitz ya. You ready for this? Are you ready? Are, are you ready? Burn. Disco Inferno. Yay! Uh, take some recoil. Oh, I took a lot of recoil. Gonna learn taunt. I'm gonna let, I'm not gonna let you learn taunt. Keep battling. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's a water type. I forgot. This is... I'm gonna have to deal with this fucking guy again. You know what? I'm ready this time. Just switch out. Switch my water type. You're gonna use Aqua Ring. I'm just gonna keep on slashing you. Yeah, that's right, you hide underwater, you... <laughs> that's what I should have done. What? He's not gonna use Aqua Ring anymore, though. Fuck. I should have... Uh, when he used... Uh, he's gonna use Aqua Ring first on... Oh, Psychic! That's nice. Why haven't you done that before? Is he pure water type? He's not water fighting. It's pure water. Eric, crit. Hate. I hate this. I hate. I hate these annoying ass water types. Way into water. So, uh, this generation has difficulty settings. It has a, it has an easy mode and a hard mode. But you don't unlock them until you beat the game. <laughs> Which begs the question of why even have them? I guess it makes sense for hard go, hard mode is like a new game plus thing, but. Also, it varies between versions. I don't what remember do which is which. I, li I like. I think white mode gets easy mode and black gets hard mode. What? It makes no fucking sense. That makes no. Oh my god. Pokemon Company are fucking high. I swear. 
This is this does have have the reputation for being like the hardest generation overall. Which boy, I'm I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. That's the ice one. Hot Kong, kill him. Wait, no, he's gonna be faster than me. I. Oh, no, nope, he's gonna hit me first. It's okay, it's not very effective. At least it wasn't Hyper Beam. Asshole. There we go. You're gonna... One level away from evolving. You could grind nice. crackers in the grass a little bit if you wanted to. Well, he's rock type! He's not gonna be very good against the monkey. Yeah. Unless he, like, gains, like, uh... Like, the ability to fly and he can learn fly. Like, go back and, like... And like find trainers worth fighting. Stats. Uh, base speed stat of 110. Do you remember what the water monkey is called? A simipore. Simipore. Uh, the bird evolution is faster than the monkey. Okay. So, so you, you'd have, at I'll least get to attack first, in theory. Once. With Dragon Breath? Now, your hardest he's... hitting move, like acrobatics, right? Acrobatics, yeah, but I thought ac flying against water was not very effective. That's neutral. Was it fighting against water? They're both neutral. Oh. Steel against water? Steel is not very effective against water. Why is For that? Some reason. That is, that is a strange choice. I guess that's the closest they could get to representing the rust thing, since they didn't go through with making steel weak to water. Which is like, you got rock and ground that are already, like, not very effective against water, so... Like, I get it. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna get Musashi up front, so he can get some levels. And uh, Crackers is gonna be in the back to also get some levels. And then that monkey is going to pay. That water mo- Hey, a fighting type! I don't have you. Maybe I should. Sock! Ugh, I'm gonna get stronger. So, is it. Like, wearing clothes? Is that a part of its body? We learned how to wear clothes. You know, the, you know, the creatures in Yokai Watch kind of made more sense. Yeah. I mean, it's not like Pokemon with clothes is new. We had Machoke and its weird, like, briefs. Yeah. I don't want to use the Master Ball. I don't want to... I feel like they more or less stopped that sort of confusing thing after Gen 1, though. Like, Gen 1 raised a lot of questions, and then they started caring more from, like, Gens, I don't know, 2 to 4. Yeah. Then they went back to introducing weird question-raising Pokémon. Like, one or two every Gen. Like the ice cream Pokémon. Fucking, uh, they, what, Tandemouse. How come they're both born from the same egg? And then, and then they reproduce, but it doesn't form an egg. It's just two mice. What's going on with that? From the from the words of a Let's player who was uh, playing Resident Evil 2, if you design a creature whose base instinct is incest, it's time to go back to the fucking drawing board. <laughs> How is Cubone wearing its mother's skull? I just have the mother in the daycare. She's fine. She's right why here. Did the, why did the goblet turn on the stove? Why is Kangaskhan born pregnant? <laughs> oh, like, like, it's like triples. <laughs> Shit. Pokemon Company. What... We don't want to think about that, and neither should you. Well, why'd you introduce the question? Actual, ta actual Rumiko Takahashi response to, uh, what if Ranma gets pregnant and then turns back into a guy? I don't want to think about... <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, that's the you know what those are, that's the other side of the coin to uh, Oda's. Yes, it stretches. But Mr. Yes. Oda, does is Luffy's dick rubber? Does it stretch? Yes. <laughs> he just, just not said only it, did just he like... own that response, he made it a fucking scene in the show <laughs> where they were like they didn't see males before and they thought that his fucking like genitals. This were, mushroom were won't come off. The dumb scene. Oh, these are my family jewels. Well, give them to me. <laughs> anyway, you, you caught you caught fighting Luigi. Oh. Luigi, we're gonna get an the MMA. There's a there, there's a short red one as well that pairs yep. with this one. Was that Rock? Uh, it's fighting. No, no, no. I'm saying is his name Rock. Oh, uh, this guy's sock. No, it's sock and throw. I'll sock him and I'm gonna throw him. Is this a trainer? Yeah, there's a trainer. I might switch out. I should probably get that and then the uh, remake of uh, of Super Mario RPG. The uh, get the two games I want to get. The they don't know how to make Mario RPGs anymore, so they're just re-releasing all of them. <sighs> well, we're getting two in one year, though. I it, Vinny's gonna have to choose between them. He'll probably what, stream uh, both eventually. Super Mario RPG, and which other one? A uh, Thousand Year Door remake. I I much rather get the the uh, the Super Mario RPG because Thousand Year Door remake. I don't have confidence that it's going to be very good. Yeah, it does. I'm, it I'm doesn't, sure it'll play fine. Probably. It doesn't look good though. No, the the visuals would like be a shit. bit distracting. The fucking the HP stuff doesn't pop. It looks. Flat. It looks like everything a it looks, looks flat. It's fucking paper. But they, they turned it away too hard. Like the, the, you know, you know what's funny about that comment is that it's technically less flat than the original. That's the problem. Yeah, shit, you're right. Oh god, this is gonna take forever to level up. Just aqua jet everything. Fuck it. What the fuck are you? I don't like this trainer. It can't hit through my Wonder Guard, so it just confused me. So you can hit through your own Wonder Guard. Defog! They, they came up with a JoJo solution to my broken power. There you go. Oh, I, uh... Got my mom to watch the first ten episodes of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part Three. You told she me about it. that. Yeah, she liked it. She's like, like having a good time with it, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm glad. And you were like, you're like, you were. I told you about that, and you were like, really? It, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that she would enjoy. But what little she, I know of her, I suppose. She, yeah, I'm just like, hey, do you like this? And she's like, this is funny as hell. And I'm like, yes. Cut on a lot to it. It's like how it worked too a lot. So Who I think started from character. Uh, I'll have to ask her. Oh, you started think... on part three. You said. Yeah, because uh, I think if if you want to introduce a JoJo fan to like any, if you want to introduce somebody to JoJo, you start at part three. Part three is a great introduction to the series. Part one's not In really my representative of the overall series. No. And, and part two requires a lot of knowledge about part one, so part three is the way to begin. The fast flower keeps confusing me. She was, she was laughing so hard at, like, the, at, in episode two at the two women who were arguing with each other over, uh, Jotaro. over Jotaro. She's like, ugly, no boobs, ugly, no boobs. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Anime moment. Yeah. Oh, she she was enjoying it. It's just the, the argument. It was it was ridiculous enough. The stand was the fucking ship. I, I think about, like, awkward moments in anime that I, I would be reluctant to show my parents, but then I remembered that they 
fucking watched uh, Herbert West Reanimator, and that had a scene it, like that had a. I don't want to discuss it. I, I know like, the scene you're talking about. That movie's yeah. in fucking Terror Drum. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean it's in Terror Drum? It was referenced in Terror. Another. No, movie he's a character. Terror? The Reanimator is a character in the horror character fighting oh, game Terror Drum. Oh, okay. Yeah, I which it. I want to stream closer to Halloween, by the way. All right, we can do it. <laughs> why? Why are you saying that as if I'd, I'd object? I'm no, I just started bringing it up is all. It's the Mugen like engine game, right? I the fuck are you I, doing here? I don't think it's Mugen engine. It is really like surprisingly polished, though. Uh, dude, there was another game. There was another. Well, it's like, Taurus with an afro. I'm not gonna catch it. Well, maybe I. Well, it. There's a. Ah, never mind. Oh, Razor Shell's more powerful. Damn it. Than Aqua Jet? Yeah. Well, no, it's just more powerful than Slash, but Slash is the only, like, uh, move that would deal, like, a uh, non. Like, like, any kind of effective damage against, uh. Please learn another move. You need a better Damn attack it. move than Razor Shell. I need a better attack. Okay, what can you learn, like Musashi? Seriously, what? I just I, I'm looking not looking for a miracle. I'm just looking for like neutral damage. Samurai. Okay. Shadow Ball's special. Wait, Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, can you learn Sludge Bomb? That's also special. Uh, Crook is, oh, Crook is able to. Sh that's a shame. I That would be useful. Shadow Ball, can you? Are any of these Pokemon special attackers? Uh, oh, Paprika, but she already got Psychic, though. Okay. Uh, a Sandstorm, I already know that. Torment. Incapable of using the same move twice in a row? That sounds interesting. Who knows he, how to torment? He couldn't Scald twice in a row, at least. Yeah. Uh, most people can. Okay, I'll keep that in my back pocket. He doesn't get another attack, uh, water attack <gasps> move until 45. Ooh, facade! Okay, Scald, I get burned. Oh, you fell in for my trap card. I'll use facade. The bold uh, gambit. Ab able to learn it. I'll keep... It's probably... Well, I want to keep Slash, because Slash... Flame charge, I already know that. Rest. Probably not going to be very... A tr Ooh. I forgot to get the gender of that Simapore. Well, anybody's able to learn it. I'll keep that in my back pocket. Thief? No. Scald? Oh, I know! I can learn Scald! Probably not as stronger than Razor Shell, though. Uh, no. Not if it's a physical attacker. Yeah, and I don't... And burn is... Fling! It, it has a, a strong burn chance. It's like 30 or 50%. Sky drop. The user hurls the target into the air, then drops it on the second turn. The target cannot attack while in the air. What the fuck? Why did I not learn about this? This sounds hilarious. That might actually be able to... Oh, no, we can use it, though. That's a shame. It's also, like, way weaker than acrobatics. If the user is not holding an item, the attack inflicts massive damage. Oh, this could be even stronger if I remove the EXP share off of Crackers. Oh, yeah, if you take that off, that's 110 times oh. 1.5. So, oh, 165 fuck. flying move. Damn. Alright, Shadow Claw, high critical hit ratio, Ghost type. Crackers is able to learn Ghost Claw, and so is Crook. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, doctor, retaliate. Doctor. User gets revenge for a fainted ally. If the ally fainted in the previous turn, the, this attack's damage increases. Flash. Oh, I can lower, I can lower fucking the monkey's accuracy over and over. Bolt switch, we already talked about that. Nobody can use it. <clears throat> yeah, no, nobody here can use it. Struggle bug. Eh. Gotta take 
takes so oh. long to get in what and out of What the fuck? Bulldoze. The user stomps down on the ground and attacks everything in an area. The target speed stat is reduced. That could, could be useful, the but... speed lowering could be good, yeah. You'd actually be yeah. able to hit the monkey. You wouldn't get swept. Frostbeth. The user blows a cold... Why does an ice... Like, why is an ice super effective against, uh, water? You'd think so, right? That would make You'd sense. you think so. Like, no. I think it's not very effective on water. Dragon Tail. Mm, if Simple Pour is the last uh, one, then then uh, I might just use it anyway because it seems like that'd be a good move to like fuck with people. And it's physical, so and most of my. Okay, so oh, Musashi's able to learn Dragon Tail. That's that. The encounter rate in this cave is so fucking high. Yeah. Okay. Do I put do I put Dragon Tail on Musashi? Do I replace Encore with with Dragon Tail? Probably not going to use Encore. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna replace Encore with Dragon Tail. All right, let's see if this was a horrible fucking decision. Jari Ten is holding the pure incense. He's a good boy. <laughs> I'm a good boy. I'm pure. Fucking wild Pokemon away. You should, that's why you grab Repel. Oh, it didn't work? Not very well, apparently. Oh, I, still need to, I still need to level up Crackers a little bit more. That's what I was doing. Okay, Crackers, how how much more do you got before you're, uh, you're at maximum level? You can, you can just fight a couple Grass Pokemon and get there. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to see how much. She talks about 1,400. Yeah, that's like five more grass Pokemon. Alright. <gasps> oh, that, oh I, the grass shook. I was like, oh, that'll be... Test out my new move. I completely missed the strength HM. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> oh shit! I shouldn't have done that! <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> I, I, I used Dragon Tail on a wild Pokemon and the wild Pokemon gets fucked off. Oh yeah. Shake again, grass. You can do it. It's not gonna happen again. Oh well. Is it the same one? You know what? Razor shell. Use what flatter? Oh, you're flattering me. Oh, it's swagger, except. God damn it. It's swagger, but for special attack, which defeats the purpose of swagger because it doesn't increase the self damage. Fight you, but I should. I need the I need the levels. My Elite Four is gonna have like Rayquazas and Mewtwo's. Can we 
please just thank you. Skull diaper. Skull diaper. Oh wow, that's still not a good amount of EXP for. Or you could. Just use, have, you I'm could just use gonna crackers. have crackers. Yeah, I'm just gonna have crackers fight. I would just call them crackers. Low ass defense. It's okay, as long as he strikes first. Speed's not too hot either. Well, wait, how was I buffeted by a sandstorm in ghost space? <laughs> it, invaders must die. How many of the fucking uh, execution died? It was like a 50% like like a uh, like a uh, kill rate, right? Was it? It was the it was the clock dude and book bastard. I think those were the only two. Didn't no, didn't uh, dirty boots lady? No, she survived. She just lost her uh, ability. This was the this was the turtle fossil. You could have had this instead of crackers. Now I'm happy just with what I turtle. got. I'm happy with what I got. Tortoga is a very boring fossil Pokemon. Yeah. Agreed. Should have a uh, full well, Pokemon team of literally just a blank. With Flamigo. Literally just a Flamingo. Noctowl! Literally just an owl! Star you! Literally just a starfish! Okay, now there's some there's some liberties with star with star you's design. It's got a gem. Star you is like the epitome of Gen 1 design. Lots of angles and edges. Tall for mouse, literally just a mouse. Oh, sorry, it's just two mouse. For mouse? Uh, it's, sorry, yeah, two mice. Two mice. And then, and then he becomes three or four mice. I'm watching, uh, I'm watching Vinny's... I'm re-watching his uh, Scarlet Violet stream. He got uh -huh. a, uh, he got a Tanda Mouse and immediately renamed it to just two mouses. And then it, it hoping that it someone would just wander into the stream for the first time and think, wow, they really just named a Pokemon two mouses. And then it, what, ha what happened when it? I wonder what happens when it I don't know that anyone ever did. Sadly, oh. dude, just well, it's, I wonder what the reaction to the evolution was when it when it became like four mice. It's especially bizarre because that one it just happens in your party. There's not like an evolution screen. There isn't. Holes. Oh, they just breed off screen, and they're like, "Okay, we're a different Pokemon now." No one yep. has ever seen Pokemon reproduction. Who? No. How? How do they fuck? <laughs> how do they fuck? Just Nicolas Cage, just just with a Pokemon egg, yelling at that woman. How do they fuck? How do they fuck? How do they fuck? How do they fuck? And the other woman's like, "I don't know." Nicolas Cage in the Dicker Man. <laughs> Killing me won't bring back your goddamn Pikachu. Another one! Fuck this guy! I want to leave. Exit. Yeah, you know what? What? That's just, that's just a normal type dude, right? Uh, yeah, normal. Literally Tauros with an afro. Oh my god. Alright. Bugsy. Fucking kill him. Sorry, Buggy. Revenge? I didn't do shit to you! What revenge? Alright, lots of hyper potions. Lots of revives. Revenge. I'm gonna take my revenge on you. I, didn't, I don't even know you! You ruined my life. Oh, you killed yourself on me. That's nice. 
All right, Crackers is gonna level up. My uh, shopkeepers seem to have forgotten what to say when I buy something. All right, what are you gonna level up into, little birdie? Can you actually fly now? Can I teach you in, in how to fly? You you bird brain. <coughs> Is he not in the Pokedex? No, oh, it's in the Pokedex. What? Okay, there there's my Pokedex. Why I wonder why it wasn't working for a second. Where's my Where's my birdie? Okay, uh... Fossils, that's probably towards the bottom, right? Nope. Are they just not- oh wait, no, that's the dragon guy. You can't just find it? Just a duck! Just a duck. Literally, just a duck. Just a duck and then just a swan. And then uh, just a flamingo from the latest one. Just a fox. Oh, here we go. They are an intelligent and, wear and will cooperate to catch prey. From the ground, they have a running start to take fly- I can fly with this guy now! You just but need a running fly. start. It's like a jet engine. You need a runway. It's fine. It's, it's better than, than- It may not be VTOL, but at least he can fly. Don't We're replace acrobatics, because we know that's amazing. Yeah. Don't want to replace Let's replace Crunch or Dragon Breath. It's not breath. a special attack room, so. No. Probably Dragon Breath. May leave the target with paralysis. Or. Well, I could also get rid of uh, Ancient Power. Either one. I get rid of Ancient Power, because Dragon Breath seems like, like something I could use. As It'd like be a... nice if it had a physical rock move. Can it learn the. Can it learn any other new moves? Can it learn Dragon Claw or anything? Uh, do I have to? I have Dragon Tail, but not. I don't have Dragon Claw. Oh. What are you talking? Oh, wait, no, I have Shadow Claw. It's Ghost, it's but it's ghost. physical. Yeah. Uh. Sandstorm. I, that. Oh! That'd be a great. That'd be an interesting counter. Just do Sandstorm. You could see if it can learn a Shadow Claw or, uh. <laughs> no, that's crap. Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail's slightly stronger than... Well, it's as strong as Dragon Breath, and there is a uh, way to use it. Can you use Dragon Tail? You can. Do I replace uh, Dragon Breath with Dragon Tail? Uh, yeah. Because it's physical. Yeah. The Dragon Claw TM is in Victory Road. Well, be, well maybe I'll replace... Oh, yeah, literally the same strength. Slightly less accurate, but... Any rock moves? The... Man! Alright. No more putting it off. I'm gonna fight my rival again. Miss Strouton Cave. I gotta play, uh... 
I, I hope. Is Super Mario RPG out yet, or they we're still waiting on that, right? We're I don't still think it's out yet. Gosh. Who owns? A, by the way, who owns a Tomb Raider? The franchise is it, it's Square Enix, right? I think so. How did they get? How did they get a remake off the ground? I wonder who. Well, it's a remaster. Yeah, remaster. How did they get that off the ground? Like, I'm wondering, like... If you wanted to detour to a small cave, you could find a rock slide TM. That's I'm gonna go that's with... the best rock move I could learn. I'm gonna go with uh, what I got. What I got to... Let's do this. We're gonna fight now. How long have we been going? Do I dare make an attempt at the Elite Four? Doesn't get... Alright. Bird. Burb versus... Rock Burb! Oh wow, you're way higher level than I am. That's nice. Oh, I, sh I didn't. For I forgot to get the remove the EXP share off of them. Whoops! Shit. You should probably reset and do that. We've been going two and a half hours. Well, that's not. That's not a whole lot. That's not long at all. I'll make the attempt if I have to stop partway. That's fine. I feel like a bunch of level 40s are probably not going to be enough for the Elite Four. But boy, it would suck to have to grind. Did I... Did... Alright, he's got Dragon Tail. But did you remove the thing? I'm going to. Be... Sorry, I'm not, I did... Sorry, I'm not doing it immediately. Right, I'm, just I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, who do I put it on instead then? Probably put it on. Like, oh no, he's got he's got Rocky helmet. Fuck. Uh. You know what? Yeah, I got an idea. I'm going to take the the rock helmet off of Buggy and give give him to uh, Lawrence. To Bug. Oh wait, shit. Uh. Lawrence? I have everyone's waifu, preschooler Lawrence. L Lor Lawrence what? Lawrence of Arabia? That name sounds like royalty. Is she royalty? <laughs> Originally she was ghost. I wonder if that's still the case. You just enter the phantom zone and pop out like Danny Phantom. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Alright, I'm gonna give this guy... Oh, wait, no, he's already got the, the smoke ball to run away. Can I give you anything? What do you have? Wait, what are you armed with? Do you have the smoke ball? None. No item. None? Oh. Alright, well, you're getting item. What am I giving you? I don't know yet. Reduces the weight. Powers of point, power of poison type moves. Powers of dragon. Dragon moves. face, dragon type moves. Boosts ghost type moves. EXP. Earns extra EXP at end battle. That would have been nice to know about. Shell Bell heals you a little bit every time you deal damage to someone. So it's kind of like huh. a, a weaker leftovers. Yeah. I... Scopeland. Scopeland boost, boost critical hit ratio! Hell yeah! Wait, that's for the, that's for the monkey. So I, my fire my fire con. 
Uh. Either the shell bell nothing. or the the what you just shell said. Shell bell would. You think shell bell would? Oh, shell bell would totally like uh, re, like counteract the uh, the recoil. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. It'd be re it would reduce it at least. And Musashi's getting the scope. Unless you got something. What you got, Musashi? What item do you have? Rocky helmet. Okay, so I can't give him Rocky helmet and also the crit thing. And I figured with with his defense as high as it is, Rocky helmet would be the way to go. Uh, especially if I'm having him gonna be. And then Crook, I think he's got the uh, smoke ball. Yeah, he does. Uh, crackers can't have anything. In Paprika. What do you got? What item you got? None. Give you the scope? Because why the fuck not? Hmm. Hawk Moth, but his costume looks like a Butterfree. Oh, I got it. Uh, okay, I, I know what I'm going to do now. Scope lens isn't bad. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good. You remember when I showed you regular ordinary Swedish meal time that one time? Yeah. I I was I, I was digging through for out of context clips and I found one that I think works really well. It's uh where the guy says this we just chop the onions, lifts a battle axe, and then he splits a fucking cutting board in half. With one swing. It was I remember that just laughing so hard at it the first time I saw it. As opposed to Jiro Hanma tearing a coffee table in half like a phone book. <laughs> for for and you know what Baki fixed it. He fixed it with giant staples. Like a nice, like the nice guy he is. And they had a nice meal together. And it was almost like an awkward father son thing. And then and then Baki had to ruin it by bringing up the like the question. Hey, why'd you kill my mom? Why are you asking me this here? We're having a fancy dinner. I'm ready for you. You all four of your Pokemon. I'm Pheasant. I'm ready this time. Acrobatics! Go. Ah, taunt! Oh, you want me to taunt you, huh? That's what you want. Yeah, well, I fell for the taunt. Oh, you detected it! That I was gonna use Dragon Tail, huh? I have looked. Yeah, this is so cool! I'm doing so well! But I said, out. Oh, the monkey's out! <laughs> Here we go! Eat it! Acrobatics! Oh, you Oh, it's still faster! How much higher a level? It's six levels higher. Oh, no! That's fine. That's fine, we're getting this out of the way early. Musashi, I'm prepared for this. Are you ready? Are you ready to get fucked? Slash. Oh, now you're fucking doing something else besides scalding? That's not even gonna help his scald, he just lowered physical defense. It's fine, I'm just gonna keep hitting slash on him. Scald. And... Oh shit, Rocky Helmet's not- He fucking crit! You serious? <sighs> you can heal it. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not mad. I'm not- Please don't tell him the papers I got mad. Now, okay, oh, Rocky Helmet doesn't do shit against Scald. God damn it. Because it's special. Not a contact move. 
Look at it. it what pisses me off is its smug fucking face. Look at how smug it looks. Zello smile. Almost dead. I'm just gonna aqua jet it and it's gonna die. There we go. Confirm the kill. Finally! Oh, that's Jesus. a wonderful that's a wonderful Pokemon you have, Elite Four member. <laughs> that is the Pokemon used for like that could Wait. Oh no, it's it's Dynamic Punch! Hell yeah! Something oh, they're all preschoolers. Than... This is preschooler pansy. He didn't think I was up to the ho oh, so he pulled out a Weedle instead. <laughs> Dynamic Punch. How uh, how good is this? Uh, uh that's the one that has yeah fifty accuracy. Oh my god, I, was, I need something better than Wake Up Slap. But no, if not it hits, like that. it always confuses. So I flip a coin. God damn it! In an emergency, it could be more useful than I don't know. What do you got? I got Bulk Up, Wake Up Slap, Chip Away, and Rock Slide. Do you want to get rid of Bulk Up? It's attack defense buff. Oh, it... Uh, I wish I had Swords Dance. Then that would be useful. Yeah. Nope, your Dragon Tail won't hit me. I can fly. Superior, that's the Grass one. I'm gonna switch to, uh... Um, Monkey Hot Cone. Com. What's the item I put on him again? What's the what? The item I put on him, I forgot. The shell bell. Oh yeah, okay. I finally... Flare Blitz! Oh, you're coiling up, you're ready to strike, huh? Oh, you have a legendary. Well, I do? No, not not you, the... the this guy, I, I fought the champion earlier, the Kung Fu girl had the white legendary, this guy's got the black one. Okay, now how how well does Shell Bell? It's oh, not what? much. Shell Bell didn't work. It didn't proc. Oh, it didn't. Because I wasn't damaged. I'm pheasant. Oh yeah. Okay. I. I'll, you know what? I'll keep on rolling. I'll take out take down your bird as well. There we go. Shell Bell heals. Shovel did not heal. Did I not put Shovel on this motherfucker? What's going on? If you, if it's on him, it should be working. Did I forget? Lyperd. Lyperd. That's a dark type with no physical defense. It's also fight. It's dark type, so buggy. Wait, why is buggy hurt? You, I don't think you ever healed buggy. Okay. Dark versus dark. Let's go, Crook. I got ground type moves. I'm sure it'll go down to, to like one earthquake. I don't have earthquake. Oh, you don't? Oh, you got dig. I got dig. I can use that. I. Oh wait, you know what? Proc sandstorm first in case. Oh what? Slap. Okay. Stop healing. Your, your freaking legendary dragon you're not supposed to have. He's gonna try to hit, get a crit on me. He did. Not gonna slash me again. Oh! Ate a berry to heal itself a little bit. He's gonna get a crit and... Oh, I'm not... Okay. Well, you know what? The sandstorm's still going. I'm gonna take this opportunity to heal. Oh, uh, no! What? <laughs> Why'd you say it like that and what's going on? Ho-Oh has Wonder Guard. <laughs> I'm, well, it I'm can't so... hit me, but can I hit it? Well, what's its type? Do you know? Nope. All right, guess I'm playing the guessing game. <sighs> that was annoying. Is 
Jesus. You are really oh. great. I had to prepare for this fight. I don't like preparing for fights. Hey, Buggy's evolving! Normally, you'd have to trade to evolve him. Thank you. Oh, wait, I we have a special that. version. Two. Conkledur. Conkledur. You're something else. Thank you for making them healthy, by the way. Right now, there's no way I can compete with you. If there's anything I can do to help. And she's giving me max revives. Cool. Alright, well, you you overcame your rival. You now have access to Victory Road. Here we go, Victory Road. Uh, oh, more trainers. I should fight them. This will be my victory lap. Well, make sure that you have... Road. Does does Hot what? Dude... He has an item. Is it not the Shell Bell? What did I get? It is a shell bell! Why wasn't it working? Pokemon shell bell. Well, no, we saw the description. We saw what it does. Does it not work if I deal recoil damage? Oh. What? Wow. That's a weird condition. Shell Bell's recovery is skipped if the move was boosted by sheer force, which I think is Hot Kong's ability. Oh, so it's it's literally useless on uh, on him. Okay. Well, fuck. We chose the single, the only Pokemon that Shell Bell cannot work on. <laughs> that was too clever by half. All right, I'm fighting uh, an ace. Well, I hope I have some like PP increase items for like uh, PP re restoration. Are you ready for a little bit of acrobatics? Yeah. Oh man, I feel so good about this. I might not. Oh yeah. That's a water type, right? Some water psychic or something? Some water shit. ghost. Ghost? So, acrobatics would be 165. Crunch would be 160. You know what? Acrobatics. You're gonna be hard-pressed to find a better attack than your, like, busted flying move. Oh, wait. I'm rock. He's got me. I'm still alive! Get fucked! I don't have any PP restoration. Boy, I hope I'm not gonna need Lum. Unless... Why'd you name your bird Crackers? Cause that's, uh, what... Cause he likes to eat Pokemon like, uh, like Crackers. I was hoping that I could I could replace cut and then reteach it and thus get the PP back. I cannot do that. Because it's an HM move. What an arbit what an arbitrary distinction, because TMs can now be used like forever anyway. 
What's the point of not being able to forget HM moves? It's, somebody didn't think something through. That's that's what uh, is. I, do you still have to beat Ho, or are you like? Uh, no, them? thankfully I found a, a a move that worked on Wonder Guard Ho. -Oh. Cool. Hey, a full restore. Nice. My trash here. You see me? I'm a fucking kick your ass. Joey. Preschooler Joey. Joey. Alright, what are you sending me? out to me? Oh, the ice. Bear tick, the ice dude. Alright, you're, go you're going down as well. Has there been a horror movie about a polar bear? Surely, right? That might be the sequel to Cocaine Bear, t <laughs> Cocaine Bear Two in the Arctic. Polar Bear horror movie. Wait, ice is super effective against ah. Unnatural, 2015. Unnatural. That sounds like an awesome name for a movie. Let, let me see the synopsis for Unnatural. Can we talk about horror movies? It's, it's October. We should start talking about, like, horror shit. A morally ambiguous corporation experiments with genetic modification, resulting in the creation of a man-hunting creature. When it escapes, a group of unsuspecting cabin dwellers become its prey. <laughs> I didn't expect that last part of the description. Genetically modified polar bear attack. Gene okay, yeah. You know that there was that, uh, that saying... If it's, uh, if it's, uh, black, fight back. If it's brown, lay down. Yeah. Uh, there's a third part to that. If it's white, good night. You don't fuck with polar bears. No, you don't. Uh, they're... They're dangerous. I have no idea why I'm fighting with Buggy. You know what? Dynamic punch! Of course it misses, 50%. Let's try that again. Muddy water! That's not mud. Oh, and my accuracy fell, and I still hit! Most years we just do, uh, we just do Death Road for October. I, we already did Death Road. I said that, uh, yeah. I want to do Terror Drome, so... I do, too, yeah. At least two um, games. As far as, as, as my contribution to horror, I guess I don't have any. Wow, confusion. I'll, I get... Uh, on some level, I get what Lavos is saying. There's another fucking poke! Oh my god. Escavalier. That's... Uh, what, it's the it's the bug steel, I think? You have a fire. You have hot Kong. Yeah. Yeah, he's, and he's still fresh, so... Oh, bug and steel? That's times four. Tally ho! <laughs> Fire flare blitz. Oh no! You wish you were as cool as Sir Fetched. <laughs> Sir Fetched. I love I love uh, Galarian Far Fetched. Just. Carrying around a giant ass leak. It was too long, too thick to be to be a leak. It's so bizarre that the European Farfetched is like more Japanese themed than ever, and yet it evolves into a European evolution. <laughs> they they assimilated into the culture. I'm sad that the original, like, uh, Farfetch turning into, like, a swan didn't really, uh, go anywhere. Would have been cool. The, the Phantom like, Thief evolution. I like Farfetch'd as, like, a, as, like, a, uh, Pokemon design, and it's just a shame that it's, like, one of the worst Pokemon in, like, the series. No, it's a joke. We're, we can't make it good. Then it wouldn't be a joke anymore. 
There's such a thing as a lethal, lethal joke character. Have you seen the uh, the Dunsparce evolution? I don't think I have. What, is, what does it look like? It just, it's just fucking Dunsparce, but bigger. Dunsparce, but bigger. Wow, that is lazy. Man, all us Dunsparce fans waiting and hoping for a real evolution all these years. That's what we get. It's Dunsparce, but bigger. It, its name Big is Da Dunsparce. Da Dunsparce. That's, that's a fucking troll. Bang, ba bang, ba ba bang. <laughs> that, that was funny though. Yeah. Like the three robots, or three robots, bang, ba bang, and then the third one, ba ba bang. That was the, uh, the Eggman <laughs> was... and his robots, three ships in Sonic X. Yeah, and they fused together and they formed the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> and then it got, uh, and then it got Chaos Emeralds turned into another giant robot, and it could flash stuff. Sonic X was great. It was just like a fucking. It was like if somebody like uh, watched, like played a lot of Sonic, it did a lot of acid, and just had like a bunch of fever dreams about like Sonic. Ugh. On to Victory Road. Are you still there? Yeah. What little oh. I've seen of Sonic Frontiers looks like it's trying to be, like, very dramatic and poignant. But pe <sighs> people are taking it more seriously than than the last one, at least, I guess. Remember when Sonic was, like, tortured in, in a war scenario or some shit? Oh, then Tails. Tails has lost it. That was uh, Sonic... Uh... Prime. No, not Prime. No. Forces. Sonic Forces, yeah. A guy did a whole video essay on, on like on like how bizarre it is how the they're like talking about like the serious like horrors of war shit. And then uh and then you got stuff about like friendship and like, yeah, we can do it together and he just found it to be very disconcerting. Yeah. <laughs> Tails has lost it. And the next time you see Tails, he's just acting like fucking Tails, like, uh oh What are you? Gates okay. are placed at the border between one space and another space. What? That, 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 those that's called, how those that, are called rooms. You, stop! Lay off the acid! What are you talking about? That's insane. Bro, did you ever think that, like, two different rooms are like different worlds? We're, and a door this? between them is like a portal. He watched an episode of Doctor Who and he thought that that's just how all space works. Or maybe, or maybe he like he like knows things. Hey, look! Past the DMZ now you threshold. too are a Dragon Ball Z character. I, can't oh, I didn't sign a air. waiver or anything. Surely y'all are liable for this. Something happens. No. no, it's fine. You're you're a kid in the Poke Pokeverse. Yeah, three gyms ago they shot us out of cannons. Yeah, we're we're tough as shit. We're so strong that like, oh ice. Wasn't there like a thing in uh, in the Arceus uh, games where like a drift loon was actually trying to take a kid away, and the kid's like, no, this guy's friendly. Probably. Yeah. I think that was a. I think there was a, a scene similar to that, in like Sun Moon. Oh yeah. They try to kidnap little kids, but they just hold on to them and be like, "Yeah, this is fun. Oh, I want to take you away." No, that's funny. What the fuck? There is in one Pokemon game. There's like a, a optional event where you rescue a girl who was kidnapped by a Hypno. That's that's like the most oh. they've been willing to do it. Oh! Oh no! That is the biggest- I, She seemed the fine. She, she's acted like Tails afterwards. Yeah, well, isn't- it, Can't a Hypno, like, like, erase, like, memories and shit? Golly, that was scary, mister. Glad you came and saved me. Okay. Alright, Victory Road. I'm gonna have- I should have Croc in the- in the front so I can just run away from everything. Anything with a uh, high speed. Crackers is fast. Yeah. 
Oh, I got Dragon Tail, but oh, I should save Dragon Breath because it's strong against dragons. Fuck. You, you should just run. There, there's plenty of trainers. I, I would not like. Uh... Well, do I want to catch like dragons? More dragon? No. To. That that it's, it's gonna be a while to level up, but it's a good Pokemon. If you're interested in Dark Dragon, then by all means. Oh, I broke it. Whoops. Damn! Sorry. And those have a 1% encounter rate, too. Do they? No. Okay. Uh, they're probably not common, but I'm sure, surely it's not that low. You're up, buddy. Whoops! Good thing I didn't get too far. Did you find the strength, HM? What? No! Are we not supposed to have? Are we? I don't know if we have access to it at this point. We we must have. It's just optional, I guess. Optional HMs. This game really is in like some kind of like weird limbo in terms of like old school design and new school design. The Pokemon series has made quality of life changes over the course of its life. It's just so slow to make them. We're getting changes yeah. in Gen 5 we should have gotten two or three generations ago. Really common sense stuff. Yeah. Oh, hey! Oh, wow, you're, you're a strong boy! I wonder what the next Animal Crossing is gonna be like. That's another series that I feel doesn't change as much as it probably would have Oh, you're, you're from. grass, aren't you? Fuck. Right. Okay, so if you wanted to get strength, you, it's from an NPC in Nimbasa City, the electric town. Oh, all so the way back. Could, I can. You could I can fly, fly back now there and fly back I can, here. Oh, cool. Oh, you can fly now. Only Isn't reason I mention it is because obviously strength unlocks shortcuts if you like need to leave Victory Road part way. But there's a doctor in here, so hopefully you won't have to leave. Gust? Isn't that, like, one of the weakest moves? It's like, it's a 40 power flying move. Why do you know that? Why? Oh, the, the cotton thing? Yeah. Why does the cotton thing know of Gust? I thought you were offended that I would know a Pokemon move stats. Why would I be offended I at know, that? I know, I was confused. That's, why? Oh, God, you're smart. Ugh. No, I don't care. Nerd. Is it Breast Strike? That's that's the electric type. Okay, yeah, now is the time. Zebra. It's King of Kong. Got this fast Ivysaur. Punching my lights out. Dig! Oh, he stomp! Is that all you got? That's wimpy. Stay asleep. Please stay asleep. <laughs> One more turn. Stay asleep. Damn it! This fast yeah. ivy sword. You're still alive! Okay. You're, you're... I survived this time. The last, like, three times I fought this thing, it punched my lights out. You missed! <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so there's a doctor in here, right? Uh, it's, he's a little ways in, yes. Okay. I gotta use the restroom really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Just, just number one. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I can hit Lum, too. And I can't cut it. I, I hate this thing. This stupid ghost dinosaur. It's fast, and it punches good. It's a stand, it's a punch ghost. What's a, what, what's, what's a plant-based band? Name it after Robert Plant.
Oh, I hate doing this. I hate just, like, resetting until I get lucky. I don't have any, like, PP restoration items. I can't, uh... Actually, even if I wanted to, like, use Lum, I couldn't because this is, it's a... It's a ghost type, so my cut won't hit it. I think it's a ghost type. Maybe it's Psychic. So far, they seem to still be the types that they're supposed to be. I think this is still a Psychic team, which is why I'm using a ghost. I'm back! Uh, we want to go further in. Do I, do I really? Uh... I think you got to get through like two or three trainers before you find the doctor. Listen, you can slide down these cliffs. Watch me. Now you try it. He's never going to do. He's... I. I... Victory Road, more like Victory Hill. Victory Hill. It looks like it's under construction. Oh man, there's a funny. Uh, I, I have a, sto a funny story about a sand dune. You, are yeah. you ready? So this, so Kenny Omega, before he was like a like a world famous like wrestler who's had like legendary matches at the Tokyo Dome with Kazuchika Okada. He was kind of like a goofy like wrestler, and he once did it in order to like get a match in DDT. He sent a tryout video, which was him wrestling another dude called Mike Angel at like a friend's like a cabin, there in like in like some lakeshore in Canada, and there it is the is a funny video because it's just this uh, Mike Angel just sitting down playing a uh, Super Mario World on the SNES, and then Kitty Omega with a ref and full gear walks in is like. I'm Kenny Omega, I'm here to challenge you to a match right here, right now. Do you accept? The guy's like, okay, he takes off his rope to reveal he's also in full gear and they wrestle. And the match ends with them on top of a sand dune. And then uh, he, and then uh, Kenny Omega hits a Michinoku driver down the sand dune. And, and it's just, it was the way to end. The ref was like selling it as if he literally just killed him. Yeah. Okay. Well. I the, I don't know what you're talking about. The encounter rate being high, it's not really bad. Well, I'm glad yours is sane. <sighs> not only is this thing like fast and punches good, it's it's very dodgy. I keep missing it. Uh, so uh, so the second part of the story is uh, Kitty Omega. It is this like battle royale in PWG like a few years later. And Omega was, like, on the side going, Stop! What are you doing? Look at yourselves! Look at the ring! What are you even fighting for? Doesn't matter. Whoever wins, we're all just losers. And then all the people took a fist to that and started running out, and they started fighting outside the ring. And then one of the commentators was like, Oh, it's getting into, like, his territory. They're all fighting outside the ring. It's going to be like a, like a, uh, anything, like, like a Falls Count Anywhere match. And then one of the commentators was like, you know, I heard that once that uh, Kenny Omega hit a Michinoku driver off of a mountain. I think it's yeah. like, well, it was, it was more of a sand dune. <laughs> just, just the mental image of a dude just like, just like doing like a fucking like, like driver off of a mountain, just fall, just like yelling as he's going down. The other guy just, oh, oh no! And then he hits the ground, and the ground splits, and the guy still kicks out at at three, at like two point five. Uh. Wrestler Punk. I'd, I'd love that. Just like uh, the idea of like uh, of like the of like a world where two people are having a dispute, and rather than like have like you know try to talk it out, they're just like we're gonna do it in the middle of the ring, and they and everybody's got like a wrestler persona that they have. There's a Kaneku they have man. I've never seen Kaneku man. I I kind of want to. There's a lot of, like, wrestling anime I kind of want to see. I watched a little bit of Tiger Mask W. I haven't seen the original. I didn't see the Jushin Liger anime. Knowing, knowing like, anime is probably ridiculous. And I, I don't want to be there for that. 
Oh, oh, this is an actual trainer fight. I can't run. Shit. I know Kaniku Man has a character who has, like, a black hole in his stomach. I'm curious how he works this into his wrestling game. I think Kaniku Man... Like, most of the wrestling anime just takes place from the perspective that wrestling is totally, like, 100% real, which, you know... Oh, he's gonna retaliate. Well, fuck, my... Oh, that's it?! But you, wow, you, want, you want an anime about, like, a, a wrestler learning the game? And, like, like how to how to sell punches and shit? No, no, I'm glad that it's all real. That's the thing, is because uh, a lot of, like, uh, wrestling fiction, like, that isn't, like, that kind of anime is all about, like, the back. Like, The Wrestler was the most famous movie, and it's all about, like, wrestler politics and this one dude's, like, failed relationship with his daughter. And I'm just like, yay, wrestling! Woo! Everybody focuses too much on that. I... I want to do a podcast, like, uh, where I do, it's just me and, like, another person, and we talk about, like, like wrestling shows, and we just do it just from the perspective, in KP perspective, of, like, wrestling is real. Yeah. But I think, I, I, because nobody does that. I want, I want that. That's what I want. And if nobody else is doing it, fuck it, I'm going to do it myself. Well, that was a slog. That fight. That fight, you just like, why won't you die, turtle? Alright. Solipede? That's that steel. No. Uh, it's bug poison? Well, bug poison or bug fire? No, that's. No, that's that's later. That's a later Pokemon. Bug poison. So psychic. No, psychic's gonna be neutral to it. No, psychic is good. I thought Bug was strong against... No, that's Ghost. Bug is super against Psychic, but Psychic is not weak against Bug. Okay. Let's see if the higher crit percentage uh, works. Steam oh, you know... Ste whatever that is. Uh, oh, you're using Toxic. That didn't work. Psybeam. Super effective. One more should do it. Still alive. Side beam. Dead. I win. I don't know why I'm well I'm still leveling up buggy. I just feel like I should. Oh scary face! That lowers speed. Yes. That that's actually seems like that'd be pretty useful. Get rid of Chip Away. Chip Away is only really useful if, uh, I guess Rock Slide or Wake Up Slap won't be very effective. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll... If I have a normal type attacker, and that's Slash, and Slash is, like, a lot better. And Chip Away is... Or if they, like, uh, boost their defense obscene. I have a team that doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, like, status effect, like, moves, so... I think he even got rid of Hypnosis. I don't know why I still have Wake Up Slap. I don't think that Pokemon ever learned to sleep moves. I thought it did. Oh well. Uh... Alright, time to continue. The doctor over here? Oh wait, that's that's hostile territory. Shit. Heat more. Oh. Heat more. You guys good on heat? We get more heat in here. Got the lava. Leave us alone! <gasps> Fuck, you bugged me to death. Crit Super. This is a wild Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I'm fighting him. Fuck it, I'm gonna keep fighting him. He's ground type, right? Uh, fire. Oh. Well, this is rock. Hmm. Oh, fire. Who's actually? Question's obvious. I'm a 
punch you in the dick. Unnatural. I was thinking of that one movie, the oddly titled oh, he shot bubbles out of his dick. Unnatural indeed. There's that one movie. What? I just turned oh the encounter rate. I am trapped by an army of, of pissed off like ant eaters. Run! There, I'm out of- I'm, I'm, I'm in safety now. Uh, remember that movie where, like, the woman was, like, going to a, uh, to, like, a, uh, what's the- what's the word I'm looking for? An orgy? Air- Airbnb. Oh. That's different. <laughs> yeah, it's something somewhat different, and the whole thing was, like, was, like, uh, he, she's sharing that with, uh, with, like, another person, and they're like, okay, and then they, it's revealed that there's, like, a complex underneath that house. And I'm like, oh, this is an interesting movie. And the movie was, for some reason, called fucking Barbarian. Okay. Like, what does that have to do? I was half expect. I was watching... I I think I saw the title first, and I'm like, to see the movie. I'm like, the fuck does this have to do with Barbarians? I was expecting them to go underground and suddenly fucking Conan of, uh, of Samaria just to suddenly come out with a sword and be like, you have to get out! You have to leave here! It's dangerous! Like, uh, like that movie I watched, Fire and Ice, was uh, written by some people who wrote the Conan comics. Oh yeah, and you Should can tell because it was just like a, a barbarian fantasy. It was in like uh, late seventies, I think it was made. Yeah, and it was animated very jankily using a lot of rotoscoping. I see rotoscoping, huh? Interesting, uh, tactic. Sorry, did you have more to say about... No, I did ...about I Barbarian don't. movie? I don't. I'm just... Mm, kind of losing my energy, that's all. I'll find the doctor, and I think I'm gonna call it. Yeah. Is that the doctor? You, young trainer over there! Look at my Pokémon! Now look at me. Not back to my Pokemon, now back to me. Is that an alien? That does look to be an alien. It's psychic type. Oh, well, it's fucked. I'm gonna crunch it. It looks like it should be rock. It should be like psychic rock, but it's not. Yeah. What other psychic rocks are there? Little are again. there any psychic rocks? Psychic type Pokemon. Oh, you're grass. Shit. Uh. Surely we must have had one by now. We have a psychic fossil Pokemon. That'd be cool. We have not had a psychic rock yet. We're due. Dude, you got so if they ever go to like uh like a, if there's ever a Pokemon game which has the ability to go into prehistoric times, there should be a uh, Magnemite like uh, pregenitor that's like psychic rock. Yeah. Why why psychic? Just because it floats? Yeah. You fool! Um, you detected me. On the first fir first turn of fly. You know what? Hot Kong about to die. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take him out with me. I see. I did. Oh, I don't get the exp. Shit. Crook does. Crook got the exp share, or was it just out? He got all the exp because the other guy was out. All right. Uh. Yeah, sure, I'll send out crackers. 
fire. I can take him. Wait, no, I'm bird. This is gonna be neutral. He's like so much higher than I am. You know what? Get somebody else. Oh, fuck off. He's faster than me. Oh, wow, that hurt. That, that was a crit. crit. Oh, now it's defeatist, so its stats are gonna be halved. Yep. Uh. Musashi. Oh, you have Shadow Claw? Yeah, well, I got a Rocky Helmet. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. What the f- That looks- that looks like the golden palace uh, that one dude, uh, trash man, saw in uh, in uh, the Stand miniseries, the first one. My life for you. Okay, I, I just remember it. That's got that's gonna be another fucking uh, out of context clip. Yeah. That I'm gonna show you. You could sneak past this trainer. I could, yeah. I you could come to. back to her after finding the doctor. The doctor nearby? I think. Cool, let's do it. Oh, nope, I'm not gonna sneak past because this fucking... Ants! Ant! Durant Durant. Ordinary world! Oh, is he doing SARS crowning over there? Oh, uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> no, oh fuck. Okay, I'm fighting them. My Pokémon want to brag or something. <laughs> Can you imagine like somebody's like going to summon a castle and it starts off small and gets bigger, it just gets comically big bigger. Oh, and then a bunch of fucking ramps come out of it. Fucking ramps? You see ramps? Ramps. Oh, and then Tony Hawk shit happens. I get it. Liberated. The Pokemon Liberation Front. You know what? That would make more sense than the fucking Paranormal Liberation Front. In a world without established paranormal activity. Other than, like, superpowers. Other than quirks... There, there has not no, been an like, episode where we meet a psychic or a ghost. Sailor Moon had that. Or she fought alien, a psychic. Or an alien. No, none oh, of that in My Hero Academia. <laughs> that's a that's a more inter honestly, if I can be completely honest with you, that's a more interesting like that's 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 a fascinating like character study. Just the idea of like of like a dude who was like a villain, and then suddenly he realized, fuck, why aren't there any aliens and shit? You'd think there would be. I have to fight another fucking Simipore. No thank you. Not right now. I refuse. Oh, I burned. God damn it. Get the fire one out. Oh, she's got all three. Yeah. Which is why I use Dragon Tail immediately, because I don't want to deal with that shit. I'm running out of Hyper Potions! Burn is gonna lower your attack stat. I know! You think I don't know? I don't know. I, I don't remember what you know, sorry. I... I... That is the... That is one thing... These monkeys are all faster than I am! I'm tired of these, of these, like, of these simian fucks stunting on me all the time. You know what? Aqua Jet, because I'm faster than you now. There you, there we go. You know what? I'm gonna send... I'm gonna send Buggy out. 
to deal with this one. For a Buggy. flashy finish! Win. You said Netflix Buggy had like a, like a creepy creepy clown twinge to him. Yeah, yeah, he, I, not too much to like to like uh, overthrow like the original character, but like but like it was it was nicely done. I liked it. Yeah, harsh not just fell, harshly fell. Yeah, slower. You think you can out slower? Out You're just leering at me. That's it. All right, all or nothing. You want a flashy finish? I'll give you a flashy finish. Dynamic punch. I missed. Just gonna continue to leer at me. All right. Dynamic punch. Gotcha. Get fucked. Get fucking Simapore. Ouch. Ouch indeed. All right. Okay, good. Crook's still in the lead. Where's the doctor? And... Did I go the wrong way? God damn it. Oh, this is a dead end. I'm looking for a doctor. Is My there Pokemon... a doctor in the house? My Pokemon are sick. They need help. No, I'm not dealing with you, Woobat. Oh, okay. This guy is fighting, right? I would Between presume that. that to be the case. Okay, so just this once, I'm going to switch immediately to Paprika. Remember that you also have to fight the Doctor. Although okay. he only has one Pokemon. What Pokemon does he have? Oh, I'm randomized. Why would I know? Okay. Can you fight me with a Chansey? Oh, fighting and dark. You're doubly weak. Uh, no, dark is psychic does not affect dark. God damn it! Ugh! Oh, you're you're fighting. I'm gonna be. Uh, uh, oh, I thought of that too. Uh... Fine, fighting versus psychic. Ah! How about this? Wake up slap. I wish, I, I really, really wish I had better fucking moves. Yeah. I have, I have dynamic punch <laughs> and I've got wake up slap. Where the, what how about jump kick? What about karate chop? Kong. Gilder. I hope this isn't like uh, other trade evos where it just like stops learning moves once it's fully evolved. Can I use my psychic type now? Me and two. It gets a good move at level 45. Okay, well it's two levels from it, from it, so. You're level 43? Yeah. You've outleveled my team. Well, Buggy has at least. Yeah. You turn! Oh, another Conkleder. Alright.
slow and tedious. You turn again, god damn it. Fortunately, he's the only one, so. Got him. Jeez. Are you done, Mr. Karate Man? I'm, I'm running low on supplies. Please help. One more hyper potion. I have no worldly possessions. All I can offer is nuggets of kung fu wisdom. Shit, you're useless then. Just crouching for supplies. I have the old gate out, but it only heals status problems. I've got two more max potions. I think I'm good with this lineup. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really losing my energy. I gotta finish this quickly. All right. It's weird how Crook ended up becoming like my, my, uh, my go-to Pokemon. Even more than, like, my starter. Yeah? I don't know, I guess I just like the aesthetic of, like, a, <laughs> of, like, Crocodile. I don't think oh, okay. some of the cartooniest Pokemon are Crocodile and the, the, the Fire Rabbit. Yeah. There's not a lot of very cartoony Pokemon. Remember when you were afraid that Fire, the Fire Rabbit, would be, like, a firefighting and it ended up just being fire? I just played soccer. Technically, it does. It did learn fighting moves, though. Yeah, but it it wasn't like it was all about soccer, though. Yeah. But the and most interesting one was Inteleon. That was the final. We should have done that one. Oh well. You think so? I don't know. I'm a real. I didn't. I didn't like any of those starters. <laughs> I thought they were all kind of dumb. I liked. Uh, I liked the the Galarian Meowth. Yeah. That was uh, that was a good one. The I, the first time I saw him, like, what the fuck? And you know what? That's a meowth that looked like it knew how to have fun. Viking meowth. Yeah, dude, Ed and Netty, except it's uh, it's just the three like uh, base forms of the three meowths. Which would be which? I guess Galarian uh, would be Ed. Okay, similar theme, right? Let's just so you got uh, regular Meowth who's like trying to be the leader. You have a uh, you have a uh, Alolan Meowth. Alolan Meowth who's like the one who's like I'm too good for this. I'll be the face of the team. And you got Galarian Meowth who's like the the wild card of the of it who just is like good at fighting. You know what? That's more to... similar to than the three Eds. It's the Ooh. the Yashihime characters. Oh yeah, you. Oh, Moro Moroha that's... is totally the Galarian Meowth. Yep. And uh, so that does that make Setsuna the the Alolan Meowth, and then yeah. uh, and then Toa is uh, is Cantonian Meowth. Toa is the Normie. Yeah. You know what? I that's actually a really good comic idea. I would just the three Meowths, and they're trying to run a shop or something, and they all have distinct personalities. And the, and the and the regular Meowth has to have uh, has to be like the uh... anyway. Oh, the doctor's here. You found I the should doctor. Probably, should probably run. Why was I fighting that Durant earlier? What am I think? What am I doing? Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I am a doctor. If you have Pokemon in bad shape, let me see them! 
You sadistic fuck! I I found the the legendary venonat. Oh, is that the 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 final? The uh, end all be all Pokemon of the Unova region. Gothile Gotharita is psychic, right? Yes. Perfect. Finally, a tight matchup that I don't have to to. I was match. disappointed this family wasn't uh, psychic dark. I, I, I wanted the goth family to be you that. You switched but, uh, out and you're going with leave it. A grass. Oh my god, you you suck. You suck. I'm still alive. Okay, dig. It's gonna be not very effective. Will it KO? I think I think it will. I'm like strong. strong no! Crocodile. Damn it! It's okay. He'll fix up any damage he does. If I win, I might not. My fire type is still dead. And I can't revive. It's one leave any. You got this. Use uh, use crackers and acrobatics. I don't I can't I don't know if I can outspeed him. He's like several levels above me. Uh, he, and I'm he's rock not, type. doesn't have anything super effective. Oh, is it is it gonna be neutral? Because yeah. I'm flying and rock okay. Acrobatics. Oh, okay, I outsped him. Should have trusted your judgment. Pokemon expert. This is a special Venonat. I'm going to use a Premier Ball. Oh, wow. Speed's 100. That's... Surprisingly fast. For right, a like Stone Bird. Oh, he does have two Pokemon. Yeah. He's, he switched out. I was going to hit him with, uh, with a Dark-type move, and he switched to his Bug to fuck with me. Oh, you survived that? Oh, god damn it. I was hurled into the air with tel Wait, what do you mean telekinesis hurled into the air? What did telekinesis do? Uh... Does it make them levitate? Well, it's some I'm kind already, of weird status effect. I'm already flying! Telekinesis. Oh. Raises the target into the air for three turns. Makes oh, all moves useful. bypass accuracy, accuracy checks to always hit. And makes the target levitate, so they're immune to ground type. Okay. Wait! Shit, I levitate switch out to a move that doesn't hit, so... Okay, so, levi so levitate and one-hit KO. Okay. Thank you! Might as well just fucking get through Victory Road. Am I near the end? Uh, it, it would be no. like another half an hour at least. Uh, all right, let's keep moving. Well, where am I going now? Okay, oh, uh, no, I'm going up here. Just gonna run. I'm gonna be a big coward and run. If you avoid trainers, it wouldn't be too long. Uh, I'll I'll try to guide you because I just went through it. I think you do want to go. Save and go down one of these ramps. I don't Save think you want to go up. I, I, by the way, I had half a weekend because I took a Saturday shift for anybody wondering why I'm so tired. You took a very early morning Saturday shift, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, didn't have to do anything at that, at that practically at that work, but... Uh, they all went to the same one! Oh. Well, where does where do we go from here? Hello, Charizard. You're the fucking. Well, there's only one door to go in. Let's see where this goes. Okay, this was not the way to go. Oh shit! So we're going up. Jack is very tired, but he's determined to finish Victory Road, and uh, yeah, that's so probably going to be where we end the stream. It's definitely going to be where we end the stream. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Okay, yeah, fuck it. Sea gear on. North! Oh, it's fast. Fast mo This monkey knows extreme speed. <laughs> this monkey can flash step. Fucking Ants. fast monkeys. Fast monkey. Do you know the Pokemon monkey? Phalanx? We do know Phalanx. What about that it? Was, that was like the five uh, Pokemon that are one and they fight as one. Yeah. Right? That's one of those other like weird... 
Pokemon that you look and you go, the fu how does this work? Do they all, like, share the ditto, or... Do they share... Fuck, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Do they share the din? That's a, that's that can also apply for tough later mouse or t t tandem mouse. Are the kids involved? I don't think I want to think about this. Nope, I, neither should you. No, don't think about that shit with the fucking. What if it was part ghost type and had little wisps behind it? If it was part ghost type, it would be. Isn't it fighting type? Behind only one of those. But like so, only one of the phalanx is dead. It's fine. It, it it only no no all the rest are dead and the leader is not and it's using the spirits of its ancestors. Yeah, it, it's one living one and five uh five wisps. That sounds good to me. I'm disappointed that we never got a, a zombie Pokemon because that would be a perfect candidate for a normal ghost. I mean, it's not, not going to be anything too graphic in, like, a Pokemon game, but we had the, the Zhangxi panda idea. Oh, did did we? Yeah, one, yeah. Of the, one of the cut gold beta Pokemon was a voodoo doll that evolved into a Zhangxi panda. Would have been pretty cool. I was thinking uh, there was a the Pokemon Uranium, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, and one of its Pokemon ideas was, uh, was like, a Pokemon doll like the substitution doll uh, chained to a poke to like a pokeball and, yeah. and then it and yeah and, and it, that was, was the pre-evolution it evolved into something else right it's evolved into like the pokey doll but an evil spirit was like obviously coming out of it i'm getting i'm getting fucked by this guy i gotta switch out i like the idea of pokemon based off of established in-game things like the poke doll they, they don't really yeah. do that though they don't Have you seen uh, the the DLC for Scarlet Violet has a uh, Matcha Sinistee? Matcha Sinist. Oh, okay. It I, has a Matcha I, Tea Ghost. I I don't know a lot about Matcha. I know that was a thing for like a bunch of uh like uh milk tea places uh, in town. But I I try to avoid caffeine when I can because it just fucks with my anxiety. I don't but know if Matcha has caffeine or not. I tried it. It wasn't very... What I didn't it? care for it. What is matcha? It's a type of green tea made from, like, ground powder, like instant coffee. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, oh, like they, instant they've coffee. They've got the not... Darmani tan. Yeah? I've got a water type. Break yourself upon me. Uh, yes, I, I get your phalanx idea, Charizard. Oh, you're taunting me, is that it? Wow, that did that was very ineffective. Jerry Ten gonna die. Slashed by a penguin. Still alive. Uh Yahweh, you're up. Seismitoad, that's fighting. I wonder if this is the other legendary, because it's fighting? at level 50. Uh, it's Water Ground. Okay, Water Ground. Shit, I don't have anything that's like... Water ground. would be neutral against it. You don't have any grass. No. Ice would be neutral. Might as well <laughs> stick with Musashi. Yeah. Just slash to death. Oh, Drain Punch. Well, that's fighting. Got to you know, dissect good... this frog. Rain Dance. That just works for me, too, at idiot. Yeah, use your, use your water moves, because it's neutral on it. Oh, is it? I thought it was water type. It's water ground. Oh. I love that Drain Punch is uh, practically useless because of my Rocky Helmet. I love Rocky Helmet. Just literal break yourself upon me. Alright. 
failings. Double failings just be what? Literally just failings. Literally just one like Pokemon, but with the spirits of its ancestors. It's gonna double idea. up on Rocky Helmet with. Uh, I think the 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 metal seed Pokemon has iron barbs, which does oh. the same thing. Oh, just dude. I gotta do that on, like, Pokemon Showdown and see if people get pissed off at me about it. That, that sounds... That sounds bullshit as fuck. <laughs> this penguin is sharpening its claws. Where do I drop? Do I drop from here, I guess? One of these. Not like the other. Just doesn't belong. I'm out of supplies. I should probably go to the to the doctor and top up before I go. No, I'm too. I'm too committed. Let's just fucking go. Hey, I chose. Did I choose right? No, I chose poorly. Have you, have you been here before? Yes, I have. Okay, so this wasn't the way to go. Nope. So it's the other one. That's the end of Victory Road. I gotta There's use the bathroom too. I'll be. I'll be back in one minute. Okay, that's fine. I'll give me a chance to catch up. Let's keep going! Alright, let's do this. Almost done. Almost done with Victory Road. Almost done. Where am I going? This fucking maze. Come on, let's do this. Okay. So down from here. Man, I wish I had strength. That would be helpful. Guess I don't. I'm out. Am I out? Am I free, lady? Wait. Oh. Whatever. I made it! My journey is at an end. Oh, God. I, it was horrible. I, I barely escaped with my life. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. I'm done! I made it out of Victory Road! Congratulations! Congratulations. 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 I gotta slay this fucking penguin. I'm so close. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna re-up on, on medical supplies. Yeah, lo load up. That, that was what you got for me. Max potion. No, I hyper potion. The hyper potion economy. How much money? Six figures. There we go. Probably want hyper potions, revives, and full heals. Yeah. Do there are there full heal? They don't sell full heals. They do. Maybe a couple full restores just in case. Okay. Thirty full heals. Yeah. Send out your stupid fast monkey. Nope, doesn't matter how fast you are. There are no, like, there's only revives, and I got plenty of those. Uh, there's revive, full restore. There's no max revive, no. I have revives, though. I'll get ten more. 
I was suggesting getting just a, a handful of full restores just in case. I've already got hyper po I've already got max potions and I okay, whatever. Just in case you're in a situation where you're status affected and also low health. Okay. Supplies supplies get I'm gonna sell I'm gonna offload my vendor trash. Star piece. Been uh, getting guilt tripped by Beetle, because I won't sell him my bugs. <laughs> you, what, how much does he offer for them? He doesn't offer money. He says, I'll make you a nice omelet. I mean, that's good. Free food. Oh, fuck that. And, Give me and, money. Uh, by the way, how, how's your grinding and bowling going? Uh, I actually have not done any more bowling, but uh, I sold a bunch of, like, monster bits. I, I'm good on money. Got plenty of money. Oh, but you don't need to sell monster bits if you if, if you do bowling, like... Well, if I need monster, I I sold the easy to get monster bits, like like mob uh, Boko blend stuff. Okay, how much did they sell for? Was it like worth not it? a lot, but I had a lot of them. Oh, fair enough. All right, what do you got? Uh, quick quick ball. I don't know. Nobody sells TMs here. All right, <clears throat> I think I am done. Blah blah blah. Oh, you're Can in the I middle. Save, of the please. I'm evil. I'm going to rule the world. You've I'm been you. tricked, N. Look at my Saiyan scouter and my mage robes. God, I gotta fight you too. All you know right. what? Gonna... That's fine. N was easy. I'll just I'll, I'll fight him again next time. He was a non threat Ann. Ann. His Ann. name is Ann. Yeah, Ann Boon Troy. Went down like a bitch. Not a great Pokemon trainer. Anyway. This leads with Pulsey. Without, like, level uh, yeah. 52 Pulsey. A plusle. Plusle. Alright, that's it for Pokemon today. Next time, you got the Elite Four. I got yep. fucking Saiyan Scouter Man, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, hopefully, I guess next time we should be able to finish it then. Yeah, for real this time. Not like we were saying, hey, we'll be able to finish it here now and today, but not... We made yeah. good progress. Get all the way through Victory Road. Yep. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week. See you next week.